Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane. This video is going to be a little bit different as you can tell by the length of the video. This is going to be a thank you for 1 million views on my channel. I never thought I would get here. So what we're going to do is a Miami Dolphins rebuild until Madden says no more. That's going to be it. You can't do any more years. So that's where we're going to start today. I am going to be recording this in a bunch of different parts because I imagine it's going to take a while. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. I just know it's going to be a long one. So this is what the Dolphins look like. I am recording this right before they play the Colts. They did beat the Jets, which is nice to see. Even though I'd rather them just go 0-16 and be able to deal with that. But obviously this team is no good at the moment. No real good players on offense. They have Wilkins on defense, McMillan, Jones, but nothing really there. So let's go to the playoffs after year one. We're going to get right into this. We're not going to be doing mid-seasons, anything like that. But we are going to be re-signing our players, free agency, the draft. You know I do rebuilds. Let's get into this. I mean, we had no chance of making the playoffs, but how did we do? We went 4-12. I was hoping we went 1-15, but all right. The Patriots 13-3, the Bills 10-6, the Jets 5-11. Let's see how the Steelers and the Texans did. The Texans made the playoffs at 10-6, okay. Where is the Steelers? Oh, there they are. Thought I went past them. They went 6-10. So that is the 10th pick or 12th pick. And what do we have with the Dolphins? The fourth pick? So the fourth, that's not bad. I'll take that. Let's take a quick look at the stats. Fitzpatrick, 3,000 yards, 21 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Not good. Rosen, one touchdown, five interceptions. Rushing, Balazs, 545 touchdowns. Receiving, Parker, 746, nine touchdowns. Williams, 737 with two. Wilson, 671, four touchdowns. Gasicki with four. On defense, McMillan, 105 tackles, 102 for Baker. Sack totals, Taco, 8.5, 3.5 for Harris. Interceptions, 4 for Webster, 3 for Eric Rowe, 2 for McCain, 1 for McMillan, Jones, and Howard. All right. Howard is hurt, though. That's not a huge deal. Yealy Awards, Watson with the MVP. No Dolphins, obviously. Griffin Murphy, coach of the year. We won't be there as well. I mostly want to see if any of our guys are going to be here. Andy Dalton, what is that? No, Dolphins, Offensive Rookie. Nobody, really. Defensive Rookie, we have Webster. What about Wilkins? How is Wilkins not up here? Kind of unbelievable. Now, I'm going to look at the upgrade. Actually, should we look at it the regular way? Maybe we'll look at the regular way. We are going to have to cut down on some things, obviously, to fit this into one video. But let's take a quick look around, see if there's anything. Nothing really on offense. What about Wilkins? He has two-star development. Webster has won. Okay, expecting a little bit more out of that, but that's fine. The Cowboys beat the Texans 35 to 24. I think I'm going to keep a running tally of who wins the Super Bowl. So we have one for the Dallas Cowboys. Tlaib can go. We'll bring back our punter. We'll bring back Eric Rowe. Hearns probably. I think Robert got cut, I believe. Jenkins can go. Walton I'll bring back. Lewis maybe. Ford maybe. But I'm going to do this all off screen. We have $79 million to spend. And I think I'm going to. Amari Cooper, come on down. Chris Jones, nah, maybe not. Kareem Hunt, I'm definitely bringing in. Hooper, no. Fuller, maybe. But I'm going to do this all off screen. I'll show you who I brought in. So I ended up signing Kareem Hunt to a five-year deal, $55 million. And Kendall Fuller, four years, $63 million. This is unbelievable. The Broncos had the first pick, took Tua. The Redskins had the third pick. They took Herbert. Very disappointing. I do want to see if we can trade back for two one and ones Apparently, we can't, which is kind of unbelievable. But let's see who's going to be here. Probably Jerry Judy or Chase Young is going to be the answer. I think we might be better off getting Chase Young, but Jerry Judy is almost too good to pass up. I'm going to take Jerry Judy. Let's do it. 76 overall, hidden development, 21 years old. 92 speed, 93 acceleration, 84 catching, 76 catching traffic. Now let's just skip ahead right to our next pick. I imagine Chase Young will be long gone. And we had the 31st pick. That's right. Oh, do we go Jake from? I feel like we have to, right? We need a quarterback. We need a young quarterback. We can go with Henderson if we wanted to. I'm not really seeing like maybe an offensive lineman. Yeah, we're going to have to take Jake Fromm. Let's do it. He's a 74 overall, hidden development, 21 years old. 
88 throw power, 77 deep accuracy, 84 medium, 87 short. We have so many draft picks that I'm really not sure what to do. I almost want to go with Henry Ruggs, but that's kind of crazy. So I'll take Chasen. He's a 73 overall, hidden development, 21 years old. 78 tackles, 75 hit power, 83 speed, 87 acceleration. But maybe at the same time, do we take Johnson? I'm going to take Colin Johnson. 72 overall, hidden development, 22 years old. 88 speed, 92 acceleration, 81 catching, 80 catching traffic. In the third round, I took center Hanson to 72 overall. In the fifth defensive tackle, McGee's a 69 overall. I mean, we had a great, great draft. So many good players, 60 or above. I love it. So heading into year two, we have a 74 overall team, 73 offense, 77 defense. Still have a lot of work to do in the offensive line. We need a tight end. I don't know how great Mike Kosicki's going to be. But on defense, I think we stepped it up a little bit. We have Fuller, we have Howard. The defensive line's not the best. Wilkins should be good enough. We have Chasen, we have McMillan, we have Baker. Let's go to the playoffs. And of course, we didn't make the playoffs in year two, but how did we do? We went 6-10, and ten, tied with the Bills. Jets 8-8, eight and eight, the Patriots 5-11. and 11. Let's take a look at the stats. Jake Fromm, 3,200 yards, 30 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Not bad for a rookie. Rushing Hunt, about 1,400 yards, 10 touchdowns. Balazs with 7. Receiving, Williams, 708, 5 touchdowns. Parker, 703 with 5. Judy, 631, 5 touchdowns. 6 for Gasicki, 3 for Hunt, 4 for Balazs. On defense, McMillan, 124 tackles. Fuller, 101. Sack totals, nothing too crazy. Interceptions, 2 for Fuller and Baker. Let's take a quick look at the awards. Watson with the MVP. Any Dolphins? No. Coach of the year, Pete Carroll. We wouldn't be up there. Offensive player of the year. Mostly just going to look for Dolphins here. Miles Jack, defensive player of the year. Nothing. Offensive rookie, Jake Fromm. I like to see that. Judy, number three. That's going to be a defensive rookie of the year. We have nothing. That's all right, though. So let's take a quick look at the XP, and then we're going to find out who's going to win that Super Bowl. I imagine Jake Fromm is star development. He is 5 XP points. is up to a 79. Judy, superstar X factor, 6 XP points. Still a lot of work to do in the offensive line. And on defense, there is really nothing to talk about here. 3 for McMillan, 6 for Chase, and I guess I'm wrong there. But I think we'll be fine. We still have some good draft picks in this upcoming draft. The Texans beat the 49ers 17-13. I don't like seeing that. We have their first round pick. Parker, I'll bring back. McMillan, I'll bring back our defensive tackle. Taco, probably not. Harris, maybe. Tankersley, I'll bring back. Kilgore, no. Moss, no. Parker, no. So I'm going to do all that off screen. If somebody doesn't resign, I'll show you. So I resigned everybody I said, even Taco. I decided to bring him back. We have $56 million in cap space. Trent Williams, no. Neil, I am definitely going to bring in. Brooks, no. Ah, Brooks. Maybe for a year? I don't know about that. Don't need Fournette. We don't need Fuller. Eh, Fuller actually wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm not going to do that, though. OJ Howard would be perfect. Johnson would be great, but I'm going to go for Neal, obviously. Henry, no. Ibakum, no. McKinley? No, we have Wilkins. We could put him at left end if we wanted to. We'll have to think about that one. All right, I'm going to make a bunch of signings. I'll show you what I did. I signed Neal to a five-year deal worth $66 million, Brooks to a one-year deal, Daniels to a one-year deal, and Dunlap to a one-year deal. So just getting a few one-year deals, see if we can do anything for next year. With the sixth pick in the first round, we're taking left tackle Kevin Reinhardt. He's a 79 overall, hidden development, 22 years old, 91 strength, 82 run block, 80 pass block. With the 32nd pick in the first round, we're taking right outside linebacker Todd Cole. 75 overall, hidden development, 22 years old, 74 tackles, 73 hit power, 85 speed, 84 acceleration. In the second round, I took free safety Belton, 69 overall, also left guard Upshaw, 63 overall. In the third defensive tackle, Andrews is a 70 overall. In the fifth, the running back, who's a 64 overall. And in the sixth round, fullback Shotwell, 65 overall. Heading into the year, we're an 80 overall team, 80 offense, 81 defense. We're looking really good on offense. Still have some work to do in the offensive line. And on defense, we're looking solid all around. Maybe Baker's our middle linebacker, too, is not perfect. But I think it'll work out. 
let's go to the playoffs. I think we're going to make it this year. Oh, we didn't make it. How did we do? 7-7-2. Seven, seven, and two. Patriots 11-4-1. Bills 7-9. The Jets 4-12. Let's take a quick look. Jake Fromm, almost 4,000 yards. 24 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. A little bit of a drop off there. Hunt, 1,200 yards, 8 touchdowns. Balazs with 8. Receiving Jerry Judy, 1,000 yards with only one touchdown. What happened? Williams, 873, 7 touchdowns. Parker, 772 with a touchdown. Gesicki with 6, 5 for Hunt. On defense, McMillan, 135 tackles. 112 for Fuller, 103 for Neal. Sack totals, 8.5 for Dunlap, 5.5 for Wilkins, 5 for Daniels. Interceptions, 3 for Neal, 2 for Tankersley and Fuller. One for McKay, McMillan, and Chasen. I don't know if we're going to have anybody up here. Maybe McMillan for defensive play of the year. MVP, Lamar Jackson. No Dolphins. Coach the year, Ron Rivera. We wouldn't be there. Offensive player of the year. We have nothing. Defensive player of the year, J.J. Watt. McMillan at five, which is good to see. Offensive rookie of the year. Shawwell, the fullback at five for some reason. Marbury was that, the, was that a running back? Number 10, okay. Defensive rookie of the year. Cole at four, which is good to see. And that's going to be it. Now, I feel after this year, after this free agency in the draft, we are going to start just going on a run, making the playoffs. So, I mean, we knew it was going to be a little rough at the beginning. Reinhardt has superstar development. Perfect. Four XP points. Two for Judy. Two for Johnson. Two for Fromm. Let's see about our linebacker that we had. Cole, five, which is good to see. I mean, we're in great, great shape, in my opinion. So let's go find out who's going to win that Super Bowl. The Patriots beat the Seahawks 41-24. to Let's see who's going to be a free agent. Brandon Brooks, we will bring back for one more year. Daniels can go. Dunlap can go. Baker will bring back. Kasicki will bring back. Williams, we don't really need, even though he's going off. I could probably get it for cheap. Balaj, I'll bring back. Sanders, same thing. Goodbye, Rosen, Tankersley. Eh, Calhoun, I wouldn't mind bringing back, but let's focus on the more important guys first. Now, Brandon Brooks did turn down our offer, so he's a free agent. We have $49 million in cap space. Who is going to be there? Van Der Esch, we don't need. Schwartz, I wouldn't mind bringing in for one year, but we'll have to think about that. Same for Lane Johnson. Sherman, maybe? Brandon Brooks is still there. I'm going to make him another offer. Gallup, we don't need. Not many players. Like, Turner would be nice for one year, but I just don't really see it. Baker Mayfield's there. Penny, Disley's there. Pouncey's there. We have Hanson, though. Not many guys I'm dying to bring in. Don't need a strong safety. We do need a free safety, I suppose. Like, I could patch together an offensive line while we have some young players behind it if I really wanted to. Connor Williams, I feel like I have to bring in 95 points from the Vikings. So let's make that offer. So I'm going to make some offers around, and I'll show you what I did. That's way too much, by the way. I made a lot more offers than this, but we got Lane Johnson for one year, Sherman for one year, and Malaga for one year. Now we have some options. We can go with the center with no combine report, or we can go with the left end Kinder, who also looks pretty good. We only have one pick in every round. There are some offensive linemen up here as well. If we really wanted to do that, I really want to go with that center, though. I'm very intrigued that he doesn't have a combine report, so let's take him. He's a 73 overall, hidden development, 21 years old, 80 strength, 74 run block, 83 pass block. In the second round, I got left end Carter, who's a 69 overall. In the third, right end Riley, 60 overall. In the fourth and fifth, the cornerback Finley, 67 overall. Vaughn, middle linebacker, 67 overall. And in the sixth round, right tackle Horton, 64 overall. Heading into the year, we're an 82 overall team, 81 offense, 84 defense. Still have to work on the left guard. Center, we should be fine. We have plenty of receivers, running backs, quarterback, tight end, I guess could be a little bit better. And on defense, we're looking really good now with Sherman on the team. I mean, what's the weakest point? Maybe free safety? Maybe middle linebacker two again? Left end, I suppose, but I think Carter will step up big time. Let's go to playoffs. And we didn't make the playoffs yet again. How did we do? We went 5-11. and 11. How? The Bills 11-5, Patriots 10-6, and 6, the Jets 9-7. and 7. Is it just because we're in a tough division? Jake Fromm, 3,800 yards, 28 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. All right, year. Hunt, 1,100 yards, 2 touchdowns. Balazs with 9. Receiving Williams, 939 touchdowns. What's going on? Judy, 871, 8 touchdowns. Gasicki, 820 with 5. Parker with 4. On defense, McMillan, 118 tackles. Fuller, 103. Sack totals, 4.5 for McGee. All right. 
Interceptions, three for Neal, two for Howard and McMillan. I don't think there's a chance we have anybody up here, maybe other than rookies. MVP, Josh Allen, if you say so. No Dolphins, we wouldn't be there. Not NFC, AFC. Maybe Kareem Hunt, maybe not. Is Baker on the Bengals interesting? Defensive player of the year. We have nothing. Offensive rookie of the year. Nothing defensive rookie of the year. We have Carter at number seven. That's all right. But I want to go back here. There is two Chiefs, two Jets, three Titans, two Browns. All right. I'm not really sure how that happened. They drafted phenomenally. But let's see. What do we have for XP? Ooh, Quigley has four. His startup element is not bad. Only one for Jake Fromm, two for Judy, one for Johnson. What about Williams? I feel like he should have so much more. On defense, one for Fuller, one for Howard, three for Carter's not bad. McMillan's up to superstar development, which is good. One for Cole. Still a lot of work to do. The Seahawks beat the Titans 27 to 24. Now we know Lane Johnson's going to be a free agent. Same for Sherman. Wilkins we will bring back. Taco could go. McCain could go. Sanders I'll bring back. Goodbye Harris. Deiter I'll bring back. A lot of these guys I don't want to bring back, and I'm not really sure what we have for money at the moment. A lot of money. See, the problem is Jake Fromm's going to be a free agent, I believe, next year. And I feel like maybe we should just let him walk. I don't know. We have 57.87 million in cap space. The Castro's there. Lane Johnson, I didn't bring him back, obviously. Carl Lawson, no. There's like nobody jumping off the screen at me. No, I don't want to do that. Gary's there. Doesn't make sense. Adderley, I will bring in. So I'm going to bring in a few players. I'll show you who I brought in. So I signed a Castro to a one-year deal. Lane Johnson, Sherman to a one-year deal. Adderley to a four-year deal worth $20 million. And Blair, a two-year deal, $5 million. So we have the third overall draft pick. Are there any one-in-one somebody wants to offer me? There is one of them. Is that going to be at the Colts as well? I'm going to take the Colts offer. Number 18, it says 28 next year. I'm not too concerned about that. I do want to get some draft picks on this team so we can build a team long term, even though we haven't made the playoffs yet. But we'll just ignore that part for now. So let's see what's going to be there. Running back, there's a left guard. Doesn't look all that great. Sylvester, now he looks really good. Let's keep that in mind. Tight end, meh. I mean, the tight ends do look good. Don't get me wrong. But early first rounder at the same time. I'm going to take Leonard Mason. 76 overall, hidden development, 21 years old. 84 speed, 77 catching, 56 run blocks, 74 awareness. Look at the steal I got in the second round. Right tackle, Jeffrey Masarno. I don't know how to say that. 77 overall with hidden development. 89 strength, 82 run block, 78 pass block. In the third, right outside linebacker Reddick, 64 overall. In the fourth, running back Boldly, 66 overall. The final two rounds, we got some players, but I don't know if they're ever going to be able to step up. Heading into the year, we're an 83 overall team, 83 offense, 83 defense, and our offense is looking really good. The offensive line above average. I'm hoping our right tackle or our tight end can step up big time. Now, defense, I think we're fine. We could use a better defensive tackle, left end still, middle linebacker Baker. He'll be fine. Echo also has hidden development as a 52 overall. I didn't even realize that, but not too concerned about that. All right, where are the weak points? Fuller's up the superstar X factor. So we have three of them on defense. I believe one of them on offense. Yeah, just one, but that is super fine. Let's go to the playoff. There we go. We have won our division at 10 and 6. We're going to play against the 9, 6, and 1 Cincinnati Bengals with, I believe, Baker Mayfield. Bills 9 and 7, Patriots 9 and 7, the Jets 5, 10 and 1. How did the Colts do? They went 10 and 6 as well. All right. So about two mid-20 draft picks realistically unless we win the Super Bowl. Jake Fromm, 4,200 yards, 33 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. I love it. Rushing Hunt, 1,300 yards, 17 touchdowns. Receiving Judy, over 1,000 yards, 5 touchdowns. Williams, who's going off, 865, 11 touchdowns and only 48 catches. Gasicki, 817 with 6. Parker with 3. Mason, 214 with a touchdown. On defense, Howard, 102 tackles. All right. Sack totals, 8.5 for McGee. Pretty good. Interceptions, 4 for Howard. A bunch of 1s to go around. The Yearly Awards, what do we got? Trubisky with the MVP of the Patriots. I doubt it. Dolphins, hey, Jake Fromm at number 10. 
Coach of the Year, there we are at number two. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, from at number five. No Kareem Hunt. Wow. Defensive Player of the Year, Howard at three. Nobody else. Offensive Rookie of the Year. We have Mason the tight end at number six. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Redick at number 10. All right, not bad. Now, what are we going to have for XP before we upgrade our team, see if we can beat the Bengals, move to the divisional round? Two for Fromm. What about Mason has four star development. Our right tackle has four will be an 82. Quigley has two will be a 79. Two for Reinhardt, 87. We are in great shape so far. What about Bowley? He has six. Whoo, that's pretty good. Eckel, what do you have? You have six, but you're going to be a 58. Who really cares about that? Where is Reddick? Right there, 66. That's nothing too special. All right, let's upgrade this team. I, I have a bad feeling that we're not going to beat the Bengals in this year. I don't know. I just have a really bad feeling about it. It's kind of embarrassing if we do lose to them, but just something about it just rubs me the wrong way. Yeah, I just, I didn't really feel it. 29, or is that 29? Is that 20? I believe that's 29. Can't really tell for some reason. Let's take a peek. It is 29 to 24. So by less than a touchdown. From 294, two touchdowns. Mayfield 233 with a touchdown. Mixon with a touchdown. McLaughlin, Bellage with a touchdown. Boyd 106. Williams with a touchdown. Judy with a touchdown. Touchdown for Eifert. Let's go find out who's going to win that Super Bowl. The Bengals beat the Saints 20 to 17. Wow. Kendall Fuller. Maybe we'll bring him back. Lane Johnson, maybe. Jerry Judy, come right on back. We have $86 million. Let's go six years for him because he's going to be an absolute beast for six years. He's going to come on back. Jake Fromm. I'm going to show you all the guys that are rookies that we drafted so far. Yeah, that's going to cost a lot of money. I'll give him six years, though. He's an 88 overall. That's fine. Chase will bring back. Johnson will bring back. I'm going to have to think about everybody else. So we had to franchise the rookie we drafted the first year, Hans in the center. So we have $2.56 million left. We did bring back Fuller, by the way. I mean, we're not going to be able to get anybody worth anything right here. Like, uh, Devin Singletary is not going to take a two-year deal with 1.9. for uh, Maybe for 65 points. I don't know. Let's go find out. Oh, he turned us down. All right, let's go to the draft. We have two first-round picks. With the 24th pick in the first round, we're taking left guard Nigel Bell. He's a 77 overall normal development. 84 strength, 80 run block, 78 pass block. I thought he was going to be in development for sure. I'm not really sure how he is it. So we have the 30th pick. Yikes. Maybe just go with that running back. Maybe go with Meredith. Mid first round doesn't look all that bad. Anything else down here? A bunch of good receivers. I just don't really see it right now. I, I, I want this guy on my team. Quarterback Irving. 72 overall, normal development, 93 speed, 75 man, 70 zone, and play rec. In the second round, I took left end Biddle, 61 overall. In the third, receiver Blanton, 67 overall. In the fourth, we took cornerback Pendleton, 66 overall. The fifth, defensive tackle Allen, 68 overall. Wow. That running back we got last year had superstar development. That's awesome. Hunt also has superstar development. The offensive lines look a little bit weaker, but I think we'll be fine. I'm going to move Hanson over to right guard. Not a huge deal, though. And on defense, we're still good to go. Allen, by the way, has hidden development. I forgot to mention that. Who should be able to step up big time. Still looking for our left end, but I don't think that's really holding us down at the moment. Let's go to the playoffs. We got a wild card spot at 9-7. and seven. We're playing against the 9-7 and seven Kansas City Chiefs. The Jets went 9-6-1. Pats 8-8. Eight and eight. The Bills 7-9. Jake Fromm, about 4,300 yards, 29 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Not bad. Hunt, about 1,200 yards, 10 touchdowns. Bowley with four. Receiving Judy, over 1,000 yards, nine touchdowns. Williams, 885 with five. Mason, 882 with five. Johnson, 733 with six. Good thing Parker's finally gone. McMillan, 123. Sack total, six and a half for Chase and six for McGee. Interceptions, three for Fuller, two for Baker, two for Neal. A few ones to go around. I'm not going to go over every single stat if you haven't caught on by now. Watson with the MVP. No Dolphins, Coach of the Year. We should be up there. There we are, number nine. Offensive Player of the Year. We have nothing somehow. Defensive Player of the Year. Nothing yet again. Offensive Rookie. You always know we got rookies up here. I guess not an offense, though. On defense, we have Irving at two, Allen at three. 
That's not that great, to be honest, but I'll take it any day of the week. Now let's take a peek at our XP. I feel like our team should be way higher than overall. Two for Upshaw. Why'd they move Hanson back? Really? Three for Bellaby at 80. That's not bad. Bully with one. I mean, Mason has three. is not bad. Jeffrey has two, which isn't that bad as well. Allen has seven. That means he has superstar development, right? Because he's the fourth string guy. That has to be true. Two for Adderley. One for Blair. Nothing. Hey, what about Irving? He has four. That's not bad for a number three guy. So let's upgrade that team. I probably should mess around with Hanson real quick. That's a lot better. We're up to an 85 overall team. Can we beat the Kansas City, yeah, Kansas City Chiefs in Kansas City? We got blown out 20 to nothing. What, did the Chiefs get a defense or something? What happened? Mahomes, 225 with a touchdown. Fromm, 152. Hart, 73. Henderson with a touchdown. Kelsey, 71. Hill with a touchdown. Just seems like a boring game. The Cowboys have won their second Super Bowl this video. 28 to 24, beating the Chiefs. So we lost the two teams back-to-back -back years who made the Super Bowl. Reinhardt, Rex, what do we have for money? Oh, we have a good amount of money. So Reinhardt's coming back. Hunt's probably coming back. Cole, definitely. Gasicki, no. Howard, probably not. Hanson, I'll bring back. Blair, no. Williams, no. Devon, no. Stanley, no. Andrews, I'm going to bring back, obviously. Belton, no. Upshaw, sure. Let's do this all off screen. So Kareem Hunt did turn us down. So we have $22 million in cap space. And let's see what we can do with it. Buckner would be great. We don't need it. Allen's up to a 75 with only star development. That surprises me. Donald's there, which is kind of crazy. I think I'm going to bring him in. Hunt's going to be gone. Goldberg. Now we have Hanson. I think we're set on the offensive line, surprisingly. Yeah, I'm going to make some moves. I'll show you what I did. So I signed Melvin Gordon to a one-year deal. Same for Kyle Fuller, Wilson, and Gilbert. Got a lot of corners, but we do have the Fuller brothers on the team. What is this? A 7-1 combine for a right tackle. I don't know if we need that, but it's kind of hard to pass up. I'm not passing that up. 75 overall, hidden development, 22 years old, 93 strength, 80 run block, 79 pass block. In the second round, I took running back Higgins, who's a 78 overall. Third free safety, Russell, 68 overall. The rest of the draft was not pretty. Heading into the year, we're an 84 overall team, 85 offense, 84 defense. We're looking really, really good on offense. We have Johnson, we have Judy at receivers. We could use a few more receivers, I'll give you that. The offensive line is so, so good. Let's check out the defense real quick. Still need our end, uh, kind of need our defensive tackle, but every other position is very deep and I love it. We made the playoffs and got a first round bye. Awesome. We went 15 and 1. Jets 8 and 8, Bills 8 and 8, the Pats 5 and 11. 15 and 1 with Jake Fromm. 4,300 yards, 41 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Can you say MVP? Gordon, about 13 yards, 14 touchdowns, 5 for Higgins. Receiving Judy, 913, 8 touchdowns. Mason, 890 with 6. Blanton, 841, 10 touchdowns. 7 for Johnson with 821. On defense, Baker, 103 tackles. Sack totals, 10.5 for Allen, awesome. 8.5 for McGee, 8 for Chasen, 7.5 for Wilkins. Interceptions, 4 for Kyle Fuller, 3 for Baker and Wilson, 2 for McMillan, only 1 for Kendall Fuller. Yearly awards, what are we going to have? Watson with the MVP, Jake Fromm at number 5. Uh, I thought he might actually win it, but I guess not. Coach of the Year, of course. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. We have Jake Fromm at number 4, no Melvin Gordon. Defensive Player of the Year. No Dolphins. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Higgins at three. Blackburn at nine. It's not bad. Defensive Rookie of the Year, we have nothing. I was kind of expecting that. Now, we should have a ton of XP. Like, just so much XP, I don't know what to do with it, realistically. Cotton has five. Still don't know his development. One for Fromm. He's a 92. Two for Judy. Two for Johnson. Two for Mason. This is awesome. 
There's so much XP on offense. What about on defense? Nothing really. Allen has six, so I do stand corrected there. He's going to be our starting defensive tackle next year. Let's upgrade the team, find out who we're playing. Can we beat the 10-5-1 Jacksonville Jaguars? Yes, we can. Can we get to the Super Bowl by beating the 11-5 Tennessee Titans? I think this might be our year. Yes. All right, one more advance. Can we beat the Dallas Cowboys? Got to look up at the top. No, we lost 41-31. to So the Cowboys are back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. But we did put up a fight, which I appreciate. Let's take a look. I'm going to have to write down the Cowboys, their third championship this video. Kind of crazy. Prescott, 285, two touchdowns. Blackburn with a touchdown. Two for Jake Fromm, 374. Wow. Elliott, three touchdowns, 151. Gordon with a touchdown. Judy, 124. Ruggs, 110. Touchdown for Mason Fitzgerald. Touchdown for Jacobs, Barker, Bowley. That's not bad for Bowley. So that is number three. So we have the Cowboys with three. Texans, Patriots, Seahawks, Bengals with one Super Bowl championship. In this video, obviously. Keanu Neal's going to be a free agent. Probably bring him back. Probably bring most of these guys back. Maybe not Wilkins. Wilkins, yeah, maybe. We'll have to see how much money we have. A lot of guys I do want to bring back. So what do we have for cash? $63 million. Oh, I'll make this work. We have $28.41 million. We let Gordon walk away. We did franchise tag Kendall Fuller. Aaron Donald's there. We do need an end because Wilkins walked away as well. Devontae Adams is there. That'd be interesting, but not for 97 points. Now, we do need an end, and this is going to be our guy. I can promise you that. Five years. I'm giving him some contract that he can't even think about turning down. 12 more points than the next closest player, or next closest team, I guess. Oh, his brother retired. Oh, so I'm glad I brought him back. Ty Norris. I mean, we lost McMillan as well. Uh, it just didn't really seem worth it to me. He's probably way down here. 95 points. Eh. Ty Norris, though. 99 points. I could probably beat that. What's that going to be? 113. A little much, but I feel like we have a very good chance of winning the Super Bowl next year. So I'm actually going to do... Oh, Shaquille Griffin. I could just give him a one year... Oh, we don't have that much money. Let's see if he takes that. Uh, maybe... Maybe we lower this a little bit. <laughs> uh, let's go that. Let's go that. 105. That's still good. That's six more points. I want to bring in a few more corners. 45 points. That's just not going to cut it. Let's go like that. Go back in. Uh, oh, really? So that's not really that much more money. 61 points, though. That's fine. Let's go find out if we get these guys. So we only got Morant for a five-year deal worth $94 million. It's kind of disappointing. What happened to, can we go league signings? He went to the 49ers for 93 points. I offered him way more than 93 points. With the 31st pick in the first round, we're taking left end Anthony Benson. He's a 72 overall, hidden development, 22 years old. 79 power moves, 67 finesse, 77 speed, 82 acceleration. In the second round, I took cornerback Bailey, 65 overall. In the third, I took right end worth into 67 overall. In the fifth, defensive tackle Kenny, 69 overall. Finally, Jake Fromm is up the superstar development, and this offense is looking really good. Higgins is our running back, 80 overall. Bowley's a 75. Could use some better receivers still, but... Not really too concerned about that. Look at Cotton, our backup, 80 overall left tackle. The offensive line's so great. It's really unbelievable. Probably the best offensive line I've ever had. And on defense, I mean, Vaughn is a 75 overall middle linebacker number two. is really not that bad. We could use some better corners, obviously, but I don't think that's going to hold us down. Let's go to the playoffs. Will you look at that? We got a wild card spot at 9-7, and seven, playing against the Patriots, who are 10-6. and six. Bills 7 and 9, the Jets 5 and 11. Jake Fromm 4400 yards, 34 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, great year. Higgins over 1000 yards, 7 touchdowns, Bowley with 8. Receiving Judy almost 1200 yards, 7 touchdowns. Bland over 1000 yards, 8 touchdowns. Mason with 7, Johnson with 7. On defense, Baker 106 tackles, Irving 102. Sack totals 10 and a half for Moran, 10 and a half for Allen, 8 for Chase. In. So many sacks. Two interceptions for Neal and Irving. One for Baker, Fuller, Pendleton, and Malone. 
I really don't think we'd have anything up here other than maybe from. I do not see from. Oh no, from at number nine. Not bad. Coach of the year. We should be up here. We are at number 10. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Jake Fromm at number six. Nobody else. Defensive Player of the Year. Nothing. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Probably nothing. Defensive Rookie of the Year. We have Benson at number four, which is good to see. We have Kitty at number eight, which is also good to see. Who's the defensive tackle, I believe? Now, let's take a peek at our XP. It's crazy as an 86 overall team. We just get a wild card spot. One for Jake Fromm. That's all right. Good amount of the offensive line. Grooves, we also have star development. That's not bad. So let's go check out that defense. What is Benson? Star development, but five XP points. Morant with three is up to a 90. We're in great shape. Where's actually Kitty? He has three. He'll be a 72. Nothing too special about that, but still pretty good. Let's upgrade the team. See if we can beat the New England Patriots, who... Well, I mean, we don't have the best, like, record in the wild card round. So, I, I don't I don't think this is going to go all that great. I hate to be just like a Debbie Downer. Oh, all right. I guess we beat him. Can we get to the conference championship, though? No, we lost 24-7. to I feel like sometimes we lose close games, but then there's a lot of times we just get beaten down. We have no chance whatsoever. Like, tw 24-7? to How? Mayfield still on the team. Two touchdowns, one interception. From what happened? 48 rating, 205, one touchdown, three interceptions. Mixon, 95 with a touchdown. Boyd, 81. Mason with a touchdown. Touchdown for Mixon. Touchdown for Funches. Don't even know how he's still playing, but all right. It seems like there's only the same teams in the Super Bowl. The Bengals beat the Seahawks 34-28 to for their second championship in this video, but the Seahawks already won one as well. So who's going to be a free agent? Kendall Fuller, I knew that. The right tackle, I'm definitely bringing back. Mason, I'm bringing back. Now, we don't have the most money in the world, so we're going to have to be pretty smart about this. He's going to come back. Who else is here? Adderley, I would like to bring him back. Baker can go. Kicker can go. Bully, 28 years old. He could just, eh. He's probably so cheap that it doesn't even matter, right? Yeah, I'll go three years, 2.3. That's not the end of the world. Yeah, he took it. Good. Redick, no. Sellers, Eckle, we don't need. Yeah, so there's really not many guys we have to bring back. Mason, I do have to bring back, though. Let's go six years. Let's up the money a little bit just to make it worth it for him. That's good. I, I need a corner. That's the one problem. Oh, we don't have that much money. Um, There's no chance he takes this. Yeah, I didn't think so. So it's really, do we make a play at Adderley? He's going to test out free agency. What's the franchise? 11.9. No way. We have $11 million to spend. And I think I'm going straight to the corners to find one. Even though fully, he's still getting 98 points. That's crazy. Sylvester Robinson. What a name. Like, we don't need much. We need some corners. That's it. Murphy Bunting's there. No, I'd rather bring in a bunch of guys for a one-year deal. Like, make him that offer. 76 points. Not bad. Juwan Williams, I'll give him a one-year deal. 3.2. 96 points. All right. But we're still going to have to address that in the draft. That's probably going to be what our pick is. It. Like, it's the only thing that's really holding us back at this point. We got both of them. Good. How does this corner fall to pick number 26? He looks so good. 76 overall, normal development. I thought he would have been hidden. 95 speed, 71 man, 75 zone, 75 play rec. Now, I haven't been showing the second pick, but I'm going to get our backup quarterback right now. He's a 71 overall, hidden development, 22 years old. 91 throw power, 78 deep accuracy and medium accuracy, 85 short accuracy. In the third round, I got middle linebacker Scott, who's a 69 overall. And in the fourth, I got free safety Kajavo. I don't know, 62 overall. Yes, Jake Fromm is up the superstar X factor. I love it. We have an 85 overall team, 89 offense, 81 defense. The offensive line can't get much better. The lowest guy is an 80. Highest guy is a 92. We have a backup, just an 81 overall. That's great. Judy is a 93 overall. Blands up the star development, which is good. I'm very interested to see what Michaels turns out to be. And on defense, Morant's up the superstar X factor. We do have to focus on the corners, the middle linebackers. Watts actually has a hidden development as well. I didn't even know that. But we still need that free safety. 
because Adderley did leave. But let's go to the playoffs. We did make the playoffs in 9-6-1, but we're playing against the Bengals who we have never beat, so I'm very concerned about that. Jets 11-5, Bills 8-7-1, the Pats 5-11. Jake Fromm, 4,600 yards, 39 touchdowns, and 19 interceptions. Awesome year. Higgins over 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns. Bowley with 7. Judy almost 1,200 yards, 9 touchdowns. Blanton, 919 with 6. Mason, 918 with 8. Johnson, 676, 7 touchdowns. Higgins with 7. On defense, what do we have? Of course, it's going to get a little bit slow. Chase in 94 tackles. Sacks, 12 for Allen, 8.5 for Moran, 5 for McGee. Interceptions, five for Hunter, awesome. Four for Irving, three for Williams, two for Garrett. Take a look at these yearly awards. Elliot with the MVP, still kicking. Mariota, number two, if you say so. No Dolphins, really? How is Jake Fromm not up there? We're not in coach of the year? He has to be up here. Okay, he's at number seven. Should be a lot better than that, but okay. Defensive player of the year, we have Hunter at eight, which is a little surprising. Offensive rookie, we have Michaels, the backup quarterback. Defensive rookie of the year, Garrett at number seven, Scott at number nine. Now let's take a quick peek at that XP. I do want to see the developments for our guy as well. Ooh, he has five. Still hitting development though. Bowley, okay, he has one. That's not all that great. Nothing crazy on the offensive line. Two for Cotton's not that bad. On defense, is really nothing. Seven for Watts is pretty good, but... You're 59 overall, so that's nothing too crazy. All right, let's upgrade this team, see if we can actually beat the, the Bengals, which, you know, in theory should be super easy. I know it's not going to happen. I'm going to be very let down. Actually, what do we have? We're an 87 overall team, 91 offense, 83 defense. And we're going to be one and done. There it is. I knew it. It's just kind of unbelievable. We lost by three, so a lot bit more, like, more respectable, I guess. They're going to win the Super Bowl, too. That's the craziest thing. From 287, three touchdowns, one interception. Mayfield, 276 with three touchdowns. Mixon, 89. Higgins, 65. Boyd, 125, two touchdowns. Judy, 119 with two. Callaway with a touchdown. Bland with a touchdown. The Giants beat the Broncos 29-22. to Wow. Let's see who's going to be a free agent. Chasing. Should bring him back. Bell, I'll bring back. Allen, I'll bring back, obviously. Irving, same thing. Hanson, you're 30. I could probably let you walk away. Johnson, probably let him walk away as well. Hunter, Williams can go. McGee can go. Blanton, guess I kind of have to bring him back. I don't know what we have for money, though. 30, wow, 34 million. Sorry about that. Excuse me. All right, let's bring these guys back. Now, I franchise tag Chasen, so we have no money, so we're just going to head right to the draft. I hate to always be taking offensive linemen, but there's nothing really here that I'm dying to get. Maybe Robbins, but we're fine at the ends. We could go with a left outside linebacker, but this right tackle looks too good to pass up on. 76 overall, I stand corrected. 92 strength, 75 run block, 83 pass block. In the second round, I took left outside linebacker Will Hyde, who's a 71 overall. And then the third, I took cornerback Nolan, who's a 64 overall. So heading into the year, we're an 87 overall team, 91 offense, 83 defense. The offensive line just still kicking around. It is awesome. Do need a better receiver. We did lose Johnson. And on defense, we still need a middle linebacker or two. Need way better corners, in my opinion. But everything else is going to work out perfectly, so let's go to the playoff. Yes, a first round bye. I love it. We went 12-4, and four, Bills 7-9, Jets 6-10, the Pats 3-13. Jake Fromm, 4,500 yards, 38 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. If he's ever going to win the MVP, it's going to be here right now. Rushing Higgins, 985 to 8 touchdowns. Bowley with 8. Receiving Judy, 1,200 yards, 8 touchdowns. Mason, 963, 9 touchdowns. Bland, 800 yards with 3. Tyron, 716, 12 touchdowns coming out of nowhere. On defense, chasing 115 tackles, 100 for Vaughn. Sack totals, 10.5 for Morant, 8.5 for Kinney, 7 for Allen. Interceptions, 3 for Chasen and Neal, 2 for Garrett, 1 for Irving and Russell. I mean, it has to be his MVP year, right? Connor Becker, he's a number four. What a joke. Coach of the year, we're at number two. Sean McVay of the Bengals, interesting. Offensive player of the year, Jake Fromm, finally. No Dolphins, defensive player of the year. We have Chasen at eight, which is good. He's probably going to be gone after this year, though. 
Offensive Rookie of the Year. We have nothing. Defensive Rookie of the Year. We have nothing. That's kind of expected. I don't think we're really going to have anything for XP at this point. I've been recording for an hour and 30 minutes. And I'm having so much fun. This is going to be one long, long video. Nothing really on offense. Uh, what about Miller has two? That's not bad. That doesn't really matter. McCain, no, no, no. On defense, two for Benson, one for Moran, two for Scott. All right. Uh, what about, what does Watts have? He has three. What about Will Height? He has three. That's not bad. It's going to be a shame to lose Chasen, though. All right, let's advance the week. We're going to have to upgrade our team, everything involved with that. I'm very interested to see if we're playing the Bengals. We're playing the Chiefs, who we beat. I mean, we've done what? I think it's like the 10th, 11th season, something like that. I don't know if we beat them or not. We usually win the division around, though. Until today. Oh, no, no, no. They shut us out, right? Didn't they shut us out like 20 to nothing one year? For some reason, that sounds right. Where are we? 28 to 10. They might as well have, should have done it this year. Mahomes, 230. One touchdown, one interception from doing nothing. Hart, 116. Lane with two touchdowns. Peoples-Jones, 105. Tyreek Hill with a touchdown. Nothing else. Now, what I forgot to look at, what is the development of our backup quarterback? At some point, I wouldn't mind just trading away from he has star development, but a 78 overall. Fromm's 30, so I believe he has one year left if he's not a free agent right now, which I don't think he is. The Buccaneers beat the Jaguars 31 to 24. Is it Jake Fromm's year? It's not. Cole, I don't even know if I want to bring back. I don't think so. Cotton, I'll bring back. Neil, no. Higgins, probably. Russell, I guess I kind of have to. Not many guys, though. Well, then again, we probably don't have the money. Let's start with Cotton. Oh, no, we have a pretty, pretty good amount of money. Let's go five years. A little bit too much money. Four, six for the signing bonus. That's all right. He's going to come on back. I guess just Russell and Higgins then. We actually got turned down by our running back, Higgins. Chase and we let walk away. That's fine. Derwin James is there for 96 points, though. I don't know about that one. Roll, I almost want to get. And then trade away Morant, but eh, I don't know about that either. Higgins is still there. I'd rather just draft somebody at that point because we still have Bowley as well. But what we really need is some corners. I guess Garrett and Irving, 83 and 81. That's not spectacular. I'm going to go 2, 2.7. But I'm going to take a quick look around. I'll show you what I did. Lattimore still here. Eh, superstar development still too. So I signed Derwin James to a two-year deal worth $24 million and Miller the corner two years, $9 million. With the 26th pick in the first round, we're taking corner Edward Spain. He's a 71 overall normal development, 88 speed, 74 man, 67 zone, 72 play rec. In the second round, we took receiver Jackson who's a 69 overall. In the third, I took a left tackle, Norton, 67 overall. The fourth, running back, Simmons, 61 overall. We had a pretty good draft. All 60s are above. So I put Jake Fromm on the trade block just to see what we can get for offers. If there's no first-round pick, I'm not even going to do it. So far, nothing. Two and a seven. Two, seven, seven. I can't believe nobody's going to make an offer for at least like a 92 overall superstar X-Factor quarterback. Kind of crazy. 93 overall. I mean, this offensive line is so great. It's kind of crazy. 84 overall is the lowest. I mean, come on. Blaine's an 81 overall. Tyrod's a 70 overall. That's all right. On defense, really have to work on the linebackers and the corners. The defensive line's so good, though. Let's go to the playoffs. We got the first round by. How did we do? 11 3 and 2. Not very good. Bills 8 7 and 1. Jets 7 and 9. The Pats 5 9 and 2. I just hate seeing those two ties. Jake Fromm, 4,500 yards, 31 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Another great year. Bowley, over 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Receiving Judy, about 1,200 yards, 4 touchdowns. Mason, 873 with 4. Tyron, 796, 8 touchdowns. Blanton, 731, 7 touchdowns. Bowley with 4. On defense, Garrett, 98 tackles. Sack totals, 10.5 for Morant, 9 for Allen, 7 for Benson. Interceptions, 4 for Garrett, 2 for James and Miller. I mean, I don't think Fromm can win the MVP now, right? No. Herbert's there. He probably should have been on our team, or maybe Tua, who's not also up here. Okay. The uh, coach of the year, yes, number six. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Fromm at six. Nothing else. Defensive Player of the Year. 
Hey, Simmons is the running back at number three. We have Jen, uh, oh, yeah, Jackson at number seven. Defensive rookie of the year. We have nothing. All right, I, I, all right, if you say so. This team is so good. It's just so incredibly good. Jake Fromm still getting XP points. It's going to be up to a 96 overall. The offensive line still really, really good. Tyron has three. Blanton with one. I was hoping that'd be a little bit more. On defense, two for Benson, one for Morant. Nothing really here. Nah, what about Spain? He has three, but eh, really nothing to talk about. We haven't had like the best of luck with hidden development guys recently, which might hold us. Like, I feel like at some point, we're just going to go on like a five or six year run where you just miss the playoffs, miss the playoffs, miss the playoffs. Top 10 pick, top 10 pick, top 10 pick. I, I could just feel it. Who are we playing against the 7-8-1 Pittsburgh Steelers? Here's a loss if I've ever seen one. Yeah, 27-24. This game just doesn't make sense. Like, why? My quarterback's a 96 overall. What are, we, what are we talking about here? Who's their quarterback? Maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know who that is, obviously. From 347, three touchdowns, one interception. That probably lost us the game. Frederick with a touchdown for rushing, receiving. Fulcher, 123, two touchdowns. Blaine, 105 with two. Touchdown for Jerry Judy. So disappointing. We'd have to make a decision on Jake Fromm, though. The Saints beat the Ravens 20-13. to I believe that's their first Super Bowl championship this video. It is. What is it going to cost for Jake Fromm? 317 I mean, I'm not going to find anything better than that. I'm going to up it a little bit more just so I don't have to franchise tag him. He's going to stay with the team good. Jerry Judy, I'm going to bring him back. Ryan Hart, obviously. Benson, I'll bring back. Kenny, I'll bring back. Vaughn, no. Bowley, no. Worthen, maybe. So Kenny turned us down. And Jerry Judy turned us down. So we can franchise tag one of them. And it's going to have to be Jerry Judy. I'm so sorry, Kenny. So long. Just goodbye. What is that symbol? Is that like the cannons or something? The gutters. I didn't know that was a team in this. I thought they didn't make any new teams. They like edit that in or update that in? Huh. I've literally never seen that before. Do we go with an end to replace Moran when he eventually leaves? We probably should. Probably with Gentry. I don't really want a strong safety. Free safety, I wouldn't mind. A lot of good ends in this draft, too. I think what I'm going to do is go with Gentry. Let's take him. He's a so oh, wow, normal development, 74 overall, 67 power moves, 82 finesse and speed, 86 acceleration. In the second round, I took receiver Poole, who's a 67 overall. In the third, I took middle linebacker James, 66 overall. And in the fourth, defensive tackle Hamilton, 61 overall. Heading into the year, we're an 84 overall team, 88 offense, 80 defense. We almost have four guys on the offensive line who are 90s or above which is just crazy. I don't think I've ever had that. Granted, this is the first rebuild. I think it's the year 11 I'm about to do. We still need to work on those linebackers. Morant will be gone after this season, I believe. Garrett is up to start of element, which is good, though. So, I mean, there's not many weak points on this team other than the defense or the linebackers. So not a big deal. Another first round bye. I really love it. 10-4-2, though. Come on. The Bills 9-7. Jets 8-7-1. The Pats 5-11. What's with all these ties? Jake Fromm, 4,300 yards, 43 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. He's just incredible. Burns, 561, 6 touchdowns. Simmons with 6. Receiving Judy, almost 1,200 yards, 8 touchdowns. Mason, 877 with 5. Blaine, 832, 8 touchdowns. Jackson, the rookie, 791, 14 touchdowns. Wow. On defense, Scott, 107 tackles. Sack totals nine for Morant, seven and a half for Allen. Interceptions five for Irving, two for McKillop, James, Scott, and Garrett. I feel like this this has to be his year. Jake Fromm with the MVP, I love it. Nobody else, coach of the year. We are at number nine. AFC offensive player of the year, Jake Fromm, obviously. Defensive player of the year, offensive rookie of the year. We have Poole at number five. Nobody else, defensive rookie of the year. Who are the Gunners? I don't... I have to look at that. Gentry at number five. Hamilton at number eight. Let's take a peek at what we have for XP. 
We have nothing, really. All right, that's a little concerning, to be honest. And on defense, four for McKillop. Gentry with three is all right. Hamilton with two. I'm letting this team down with all these draft picks. It's really disappointing. Now, you can see that I have a lot of coach XP up there. I turned all the XP, uh, like the gains or whatever. I don't know what it's exactly called. I have that all the way up. That's why I'm not using the XP at the moment. Now I'm going through like the, how they're unlikely to retire, how they're resigning and everything like that. I want to get like all the quarterbacks, the running backs, the offensive line. But can we beat the 10-5-1 Baltimore Ravens? Of course we cannot. We lost 16-14. to Sounds about right. I don't know why we just like can't beat these teams. Jackson didn't even have a touchdown. Fromm did. Blake, nope. Newton with a touchdown. Burns with a touchdown. Jackson with a rushing touchdown. Blake, 58. Who had the touchdown for us? Leonard Mason, the tight end. The Giants have won their second Super Bowl championship, beating the Ravens 28 to 21. Now, who's going to be here? What do we have for money? I knew Morant was going to be there. Judy there. Obviously, we don't have much money. So I'm going to have to take a quick look around. Like, Garrett, I have to bring back. Michaels, I don't need to. Miller, I would like to. Scott, maybe. Watts can go. Man, this is going to be a problem. I have to worry about Garrett first. There's, like, there's no other option. Let's see if he takes that offer, which he will. Derwin James can go, obviously. Miller, I, I think, is our number two guy. Let's see if that $30 million works. Okay, it will. I mean, Scott being a 79 overall, I feel like I'd be foolish not to make this offer. Okay, good. So it's now really, do we move on from Judy or do we move on from Morant? And I think the answer is going to be Judy there. I think it almost has to be. And of course, this guy is going to be way too complicated. He's going to go to free agency. So let's make a shot or take a shot at Judy. He's also going to go to free agency. I'm going to franchise tag Judy. I'm just going to do it. He's been so good for our team for so long. That's kind of really unlike me. Usually I would just move right along from that. But now we don't have any money, right? No. I hate to do it, but I'm going to. I'm taking a running back, Anthony Wesley. I'm just going to do it. 73 overall, hidden development. 79 break tackle, 89 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 agility. In the second round, I took left outside linebacker Stewart, 67 overall. In the third round, strong safety Pews, a 67 overall. And in the fifth round, free safety May, 65 overall. Heading into the year, we're an 84 overall team. We still have Jake Fromm, 94 overall, and Jerry Judy, 90 overall. The offensive line is so good and so deep. I love it. And on defense, looking a little bit weak and strong safety at corner, the outside linebacker. I guess not both the outside linebackers, right outside linebacker. Still have to work on that right end. But let's go to the playoffs. We won our division at 9-7. and seven. Awesome. The Jets went 6-9-1. Bills 6-10. The Pats 4-12. Let's take a look at the stats. Jake Fromm, 4,600 yards. 41 touchdowns. 4 interceptions. Awesome. Rushing Wesley, 959 touchdowns. Simmons with 7. Leonard Mason, over 1,000 yards. 8 touchdowns. Judy, 984 with 7. Jackson, 967, 15 touchdowns. Awesome. Bland, 765, 5 touchdowns. On defense, Garrett, 100 tackles. James with 100 tackles. Sack totals, 8.5 for Gentry, 7 for Allen, 3.5 for Will Height. Interceptions, 2 for Garrett, 1 for Benson, Scott, James, Pugh, and Miller. Now, it has been a week since I last recorded this, so let's find out who's going to be here. MVP, Jalen Hurts. Do we have a Dolphin? We do. Jake Fromm. Coach of the year. We should be up here. We are not, though. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Jake Fromm, number two. No Dolphins. Defensive Player of the Year, we have nothing. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Anthony Wesley, the running back, which is good to see. Uh, we have nothing else. Defensive Rookie of the Year, we have Pew at four. And we have Stewart at number 10, which is not that bad. Let's take a quick peek at the XP before we move along. No, I mean, Wesley has six. That's good. It'll be a 79 overall, but nothing else. Jackson has three. I forgot. He went off. Poole with two. 
The offensive line's going to be fine. Miller with one. On defense, James has four. Fordham has three, but nothing else too special. Two for Gentry's not bad. Almost up to 79. Miller with one, which is good. I mean, I think we're still good to go. Let's find out after we upgrade our team. Can we beat the Baltimore Ravens? And I think we will be able to pretty, pretty easily. Even though they're 11-4-1, so I'm going to eat my words. Nope. Can we beat the 12-4 Cincinnati Bengals? Wow. We just ran right through the AFC North. Can we? You know what? Let's give ourselves one more upgrade, shall we? Benson has one. Blandon has one. Can we get to the good old Super Bowl by beating the 14-2 Kansas City Chiefs? Yes, we can. And we're going to have to upgrade that one more time. Just, just one more time. Three for Wesley. Woo! Seems so good. Now, typically, I would hop into the game we could watch from the outsider's perspective. But since it's going to be a long-ass video, did we win it? Take your time. No, we lost 24 to 21. That means the Giants are now three-time Super Bowl champion in this video. Kind of disappointing. But we got close, so we might be able to go on a run right here. Let's see who let us down. Show yourself. Is it going to be Jake Fromm? One interception, of course. Three touchdowns, 260. Sokja, 245 with two. Wesley, 44 yards. Simmons, 23. Jackson, 85 with a touchdown. Bishop, 70 with a touchdown. Collins with a touchdown. And that's going to two for Jerry Raider. I don't even know who that is. What do we have for free agents? Anything special? Probably not. Maybe, though. Oh, our right tackle is 31 years old. I think I'll bring him back. Probably not there. Quigley, the center's... 31 years old. Irving could probably go. Miller, I'm definitely going to bring back. Let's start there. Even though we have plenty of money, I'm going to go five years. Let's go like that. Who else do I want to bring back? Will Hyde, I'll bring back. Nolan, maybe. Groves, no. Tart, no. Actually, Tart doesn't seem that bad, but probably not. All right, I'm going to bring these guys back. So Irving turned us down. Quigley turned us down. And Jerry Judy wants a three-year deal. So I think I'm going to franchise tag Quigley. Get one more good year out of him. Maybe pick somebody up in the draft if we can. Let's advance the week one more time. What do we have for money? 15.76. Trey Smith is there. We don't need that. Jerry Judy is getting 76 points from the Packers. I still don't want to do three years. I'll do 10. I'm going to have to restructure. I'm just not going to do that. I don't even want to bother. Hickson's there. No. A lot of older guys that I really don't want on this team. Holmes doesn't seem that bad. I don't think I'm going to bring anybody in. Let's go to the draft. Since we lost Jerry Judy, let's get ourselves a receiver. Caleb Dodge. 74 overall, normal development. 91 speed, 92 acceleration, 75 catching, 81 catch of traffic. In the second round, I took defensive tackle Shepard, who's a 70 overall with hidden development. 82 strength, 77 block shed, 67 power moves, 80 finesse. In the third, I took a corner in Humphrey, 61 overall. And in the fourth, I took a right end, Dixon, 61 overall. Heading into the year, we have an 86 overall team, 91 offense, 81 defense. And we're looking really good on offense. We did lose Jerry Judy, not a huge deal. And on defense, still would like to work on that right outside linebacker, left outside linebacker, strong safety. But I think we're good everywhere else, even though I probably should worry about how old some of these guys are. 30 years old, his contract probably goes to 31, I would assume. He has one year left. I don't know if I really want to trade him right about now. Actually, we did draft a guy, so maybe we should. Let's see what we can get for him. Probably not a first-round pick or anything like that, but maybe a second? A second would be nice, I think. Let's see. Let's see. At least there are some trade offers. Three, six, two, seven. There's really not going to be a one. I thought there was going to be. Two, four, seven. We're going to trade to the Falcons. Goodbye. And we missed the playoffs altogether? We went eight and eight, barely missing the playoffs. I guess that's all right since the Jets went nine and seven. Pats, eight, seven, one. The Bills, eight and eight. A very tough division. Jake Fromm, 4,400 yards, 38 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Wesley, about 1,200 yards, 15 touchdowns. Simmons with five. Receiving Jackson, 1,100 yards, six touchdowns. Mason, 950 with nine. Dodge, 892, eight touchdowns. Blayton, 625 with seven. Take a peek at the defense. Scott, 110 tackles. I like to see that. 
Sack totals five and a half for Benson, five for Shepard. Three interceptions for Scott, so he might be up there in the Defensive Player of the Year. Two for Stuart Garrett in Spain. What else do we have here for awards? Jackson with the MVP from number two. He's getting so close. I thought that might have been Kobe Bryant. That'd be fun to see. Coach of the Year, we're not going to be... Eh, the Bills beat us out. Really? Offensive Player of the Year, Mason Fine beat us out, but Jake Fromm at number three. Defensive Player of the Year, we do have Scott at number seven, which is good to see. Offensive Rookie, Dodge at three. Nothing else. Defensive Rookie, Shepard winning it, which is perfect. Hoping for that superstar above development. Let's go take a peek before we find out who's going to win that Super Bowl, sign our free agents, everything involved with that. Nah, three for Wesley's not bad. It'll be an 86 overall. Dodge has four, which is really not that bad. One for Reinhardt in the offensive line. Our offensive linemen really aren't doing anything right now. A little concerning. On defense, Shepard has seven star development. Was hoping a little bit more than that. Three for Pew, two for James, two for Stewart, one for Scott. I was expecting a little bit more out of that as well. The Giants have won Super Bowl 67 for their fourth in this video. They're going on a nice little run. New York fans will be very, very happy. Now, who do we want to bring back? A lot of guys are going to be free agents. Let's start with Cecil Jackson. We have plenty of money, too. Let's go four years, 8.2. He's going to come on back. Spain, I want to bring back as a 77 overall. We're going to give him five years. I probably should be doing this on screen. It drags the video up, but we're going to bring back Norton. Fordham, I guess, probably. No, no, I don't see anybody else. Sexton, maybe. But it really depends. Do we want to bring back Jake Fromm? Oh, a one-year deal. I'll give him two years at that rate. Let's go like that, like that. We are going to have to look for our future quarterback. Maybe might be time to blow the thing up and kind of move on. I don't know if that's going to be a terrible idea. You can go to free agency if you want to. Bland, I'll be fine with walking away. Quigley, I wouldn't mind for two years if we can do that. He's going to test out free agency. I think we could find a better tight end than finding a center for $10 million. That's just not going to happen. We have $33 million to spend, too. That is plenty of money. Andrew Thomas, don't really need to bring him in, but I think I'm going to for one year. Let's give him a bigger contract to make sure he wants to come on down. What else do we have here? CJ Henderson, no. Ship, I wouldn't mind bringing in because our guys are getting up there in age. 96 points is what we have to beat. Let's go six years. Let's go 11 million, 5.54, 103. I'm going to keep looking around because I want to get McClendon in here as well. Wow, the corner turned us down, but we did sign strong safety, Connor McClendon, for six years, $96 million. With the 14th pick in the first round, we're taking left tackle Derek McAllister. He's a 74 overall, normal development. 87 strength, 83 run block, 79 pass block. In the second round, we got our tight end, Thorpe. He's a 66 overall. In the third, we did draft the quarterback in Wells, 62 overall. In the fourth receiver, Pryor, 66 overall. But I'd say it's a pretty good, consistent draft. Just no, you know, hidden development guys. Heading into the year, we're an 82 overall team, 84 offense, 81 defense. Wesley is up to superstar development, which is awesome. The offensive line, still good, still deep. I love it. And on defense, still have to work on the outside linebackers. I have to be honest with that. But Shepard is up to an 80 overall. He ended up getting 10 XP points, which is perfect. Let's go to the playoffs. Yes, we made the playoffs at 10 and 6. I love it. We're playing against the 10 and 6 Baltimore Ravens. Jets 6 and 10. Pats 5 and 11. And the Bills 4 and 12. Take a look at these stats. Jake Fromm, 4,400 yards, basically 4,500 yards, 38 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. He's just going off. Wesley, 1,100 yards, 12 touchdowns. Receiving Jackson, 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns. Dodge, 900 yards, 9 touchdowns. Thorpe, the rookie, 827, 7 touchdowns. Pool, 780 with 7. On defense, take your time, Madden. No rush. Only making a 3-hour video here. 132 tackles for Scott, 111 for Garrett. Sack totals 12.5 for Shepard, 8.5 for Gentry, 6.5 for Benson. I love it. Interceptions 5 for Garrett, 5 for Miller. Perfect. They are almost 30 years old, so we're probably going to have to address their contracts next year, realistically. Jake Fromm at number 3. At this point, we're just going to look for our guys. Our guys right there, number coach at number 7. Jake Fromm, number 2. Defensive player of the year, Garrett at number 3, which is perfect. The Gunners are out there still. 
Offensive Rookie of the Year, Thorpe at four, Rice at five. We have Wells, the backup quarterback at number eight. Defensive Rookie of the Year, we have absolutely nothing. Now, do we want to just, let's just go to upgrade players. We didn't have any like hidden development guys, but Thorpe has eight XP. Pryor with five, Shepard with four. We have so much XP. Wesley's going to be a 90 overall. I mean, what is our team up to now? 84, 84, all right. Can we beat the Ravens, get to the division round of the playoffs? No, we cannot. We lost 28 to seven. Kind of a rough way to lose. Better than being blown out, I suppose. But at the same time, it's just kind of a waste. Like It might have been garbage time. Eason, 746, three touchdowns from with an interception. He's going to be gone after next year. Blake with 90 yards. Wesley, 55 with a touchdown. Wesley, 86 yards as a receiver. Spade with a touchdown. And a touchdown for LeFleur. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Jaguars 28-6. That is their second Super Bowl. Interesting. Bell we're going to bring back. Cotton we're going to bring back. A lot of guys up there in age. Macrino's up there. James I definitely want to bring back. Let's worry about that first. Actually, we have $57 million. Quigley's going to be gone. He's getting Gentry. I'm going to do this all off screen. Save us some time. So we got turned down by Cotton, Macrano, and then Quigley again, of course. And we're going to bring back Riley Cotton, $13 million. We still have $15 million to spend. I feel like we're getting close to that, you know, blow the team up and start rebuilding from the bottom. I don't know if we're quite here, like, you know, quite there yet, but I think we're getting really, really close. Let's offer him a one-year deal. What else do we have here? Left end, we don't need that all too much. Stewart? Nah. You know what? Let's get this receiver if we can. Will he take 3.3? 40 points. He will not. Oh, wow. I got both of them. That's good. I think we might have found our quarterback in Evan Dory. Let's, let's take him. Wow. What was that sentence? 73 overall hidden development. 90 throw power, 76 deep accuracy, 84 medium, 87 short. Look at this draft class. In the second round, we got right outside linebacker Burrow, 69 overall. Also got strong safety McDougal, 78 overall, hidden development. 91 speed, 74 zone, 78 tackle, 80 pursuit. In the third round, we got defensive tackle Roland, 71 overall. And the rest of the draft was also pretty well, but let's not go so deep into that. So I put Jake Fromm on the trade block. Let's see what we can get for him. I'm hoping a number one. Two, five, and a seven's not bad. Two, five, five. That's leading so far. Even though the Ravens beat me every year, why would they want him? I mean, you can have him. He's all yours. He's 35 years old, but kind of out of your mind. We have an 83 overall team, 84 offense, 83 defense. The offensive line looking good. Wesley is up the superstar X factor, which is perfect. And on defense, we still have some work to do. But with Benson at superstar, Shepard at superstar, James at super, eh, superstar, we should be in good shape. Let's actually put McDougal over to free safety, shall we? Will you look at that? We did better without Jake Fromm. We went 10 and 6. We will play against the 9 and 7 Chiefs. The Jets and the Bills went 8 and 8. The Pats 6 and 10. Let's see how our rookie did. 4,100 yards, 27 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Awesome rookie year. Wesley, 13 yards, 11 touchdowns, 4 for Rice. Jackson, almost 1,100 yards, 6 touchdowns. Ramsey, almost 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Thorpe, 802 with 4. Wesley with 3. Dodge with 2. On defense, Spain, 104 tackles. Sack totals, 10 for Shepard, 5 for Roland, 4 for Gentry. Interceptions, 3 for Garrett, 1 for McDougal. Let's take a peek at the yearly awards. What do we got? Jackson with the MVP on the Broncos. Are we going to see Jake Fromm up here? No, but Doris is. That's good to see. Coach of the year. There we are, number eight. Offensive player of the year. Doris at number four. Jake Fromm, nowhere to be found. But Wesley right there at number nine. Defensive player of the year. We have nothing. Offensive rookie, Doris, obviously. We also have Frazier at number eight. Defensive rookie of the year. Roland McDougal and Burrow, six or five, six, seven. Perfect. Very excited to see what Doris' development is. If we can get a nice superstar right off the bat, probably going to be star, but superstar would be ideal. Superstar X Factor. 12 XP points. Boy, oh boy. I guess we're not going to blow this team up. Hoo, 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 hoo. That feels really good. McDougal's superstar development. Come on. Come on. I mean, let's upgrade the team first. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, granted. But 12 XP points? 
That is crazy. I almost just want to go straight to the Super Bowl, but let's go week by week. See if we can be one and done. I guess not. Can we beat the 10 4 and 2 Jaguars? No, we cannot. 31 to 28, though. Our rookie quarterback has superstar X Factor. You don't know how excited I am. You can probably tell by the voice. Nope. Don't want to look at that. But I, I don't. I mean, sure, it's happy for, for me, but it's probably in a while. Beal, no. Hollister with a touchdown. Doris, 228, two touchdowns, two interceptions. That's all right, buddy. Bernard, 89 with a touchdown. Hollister with a touchdown. Rice with a touchdown. Ramsey with a touchdown. Dodge, Bridges, nothing else. Let's go find out who's going to win that Super Bowl. The Gunners beat the Panthers 25-17. to Do I just write that as the, the Gunners? I guess, right? I assume it's the Chargers, but we'll just write the Gunners. I don't know why I wrote 25 on that. There we go. Who's going to be a free agent? We are going to be on a roll right now, I can tell. Wesley coming on back. Cotton, maybe. Pugh's going to come back. Stewart's going to come back. Not many guys, which has me a little concerned that we might not have money. Oh, but we have plenty of money. Seven years? I'll give you seven years as a 95 overall at 25 years old. Yes, please. Cotton, I want you to come back for one more year. We have a lot of things cooking right now. Do you want to go to free agency? Of course you do. Why wouldn't you want to stay with the team that didn't really bring you anywhere, but I'll pretend it did, you know? Puke's going to come back. That's good. We're going to bring back Stewart. Then we'll go to free agency. We have $35 million in cap space. It's going to be a good year. Do we need a center? Absolutely. 100 points for him. He's 28 years old, though. Maybe not. Cotton, I'd like to bring in. Callaway, no. I'm going to take a look around. I'll show you what I did. We signed a bunch of offensive linemen. Left tackle Russell, 79 overall, three-year deal. Willis Church, he's a 77 overall for a one-year deal. Got a middle linebacker for one year. We got a kicker with superstar development for five years. Then we signed CJ Henderson, 35 years old, but a one-year deal. That's all right. I have to take him. At pick number 26, he's too good to pass up. Early first-round talent? 77 overall, ranked number two. Normal development, though, 92 strength, 83 run block, 76 pass block. In the second round, we took a tight end, Hagen, 67 overall. In the third, a center, Henson, 66 overall. In the fourth, receiver, Emmanuel, 65 overall. I mean, we're having a pretty good draft so far. Hopefully, Doris can carry us onward and upward. Wow. A bunch of our offensive linemen either left or retired. That's not good. Actually, doesn't look as bad as it is because we still have some guys in the 80s. But I'm going to have to move McAllister around. Russell, is he starting already? He's not. Why not? Kind of strange. But I would probably put McAllister at center. And then we're still looking good on offense. Dodge is up to an 83. Doris is an 87 after his rookie year. Kind of crazy. And on defense, a bunch of super, ah, a bunch of superstar guys. We still have Henderson over here as well as a superstar guy. But let's go to the playoffs. We are going to be playing against the Gunners, who are 11-5. We ended up 10-6, getting a wild card spot. The Bills went 10-6. Jets 8-8. Eight eight, the Pats 6-10. Let's see how Doris did. 3,800 yards. What happened? 39 touchdowns, though. Four interceptions. Awesome. Wesley, 1,400 yards, 12 touchdowns, 5 for Rice. Jackson, 901, 8 touchdowns. Poole, 803 with 10. Dodge, 651, 7 touchdowns. Thorpe, 650 with 6. On defense, James, 120 tackles. Garrett, 108. Sack total, 7 for Shepard, 6 for Roland, 5 for Gentry. Interceptions, 3 for McClendon, 3 for Henderson, 2 for Garrett. Good, good, good. Yelia Wards, come on, be our guy's year. Hollister, no. Doris at 3. Hey, Jake Fromm down to number 8. He's still kicking around, though. Not bad. Dolphins, number 8. Offensive player of the year. Doris at number 2. Fromm again. Wesley at 8. Defensive player of the year. We have James at seven. That's it. Offensive rookie. Hagan at five. Nothing else. Defensive player of the year. Or defensive rookie of the year. Sorry. A lot, lot of years I've been recording recently. Trying to think what year are we even on? I think I've recorded like 17 seasons so far. Three for Doris will be a 70 or a 90 rather too with uh, his boost. But I think he's going to be a 90 just overall. Uh, Norton has one. McDougal has two. Hudson has two. That's not all too great. What happened to Russell? Why is he not starting at right guard? I don't really get it sometimes. Jackson has one. Poole has one choice. Two. Not bad. What about our defense? What do we got? Bunch of star development guys. Four for McDougal up here. One for James. One for Scott. 
Still have to work on the outside linebackers a little bit, even though it doesn't really look all too bad. All right, let's upgrade the team. Can we beat the good old... I don't even know what they're for. Like, where are they from? Where would you be from? I guess I probably can look into this. Can I just click on this and will it tell me? I think it will, right? When I go to play full game. The Houston Gunners. Because why not? Such, like, why? Why, I guess, Gunners, Texan people like guns and stuff. I don't know. We beat the Gunners. Good, good, good. Can we get to the conference championship by beating the Steelers? No, we cannot. We lost by three again. I mean, eventually, Doris has to step up, right? He won by three, lost by three. Pretty disappointing. Hollister, 297, two touchdowns. Doris, 317, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Wesley, 65 with a touchdown. Done with two. Hollister and Rice with one. Jackson, 95 yards. House, 86. Touchdown for Dunn. Touchdown for Baptiste, Hagen, Wesley, and Rice. The 49ers beat the Steelers 37-31. to I believe that's their first Super Bowl this video. It is. Shepard, I'm bringing back, obviously. Bell, probably not. Benson, probably not. Dodge will bring back. Garrett, maybe for a year. Scott, no. Timmons, no. But let's bring back all these guys. Actually, what do we have for money? Let's keep that on screen. We have 45.3. We have $25.45 million dollars. Valentine's there, the running back. We don't need that. Bell, we let go. Benson, we let go. Becker, absolutely not. Brian Reedy, though. Our corners are not good anymore, so I might have to bring in a few guys. I'll show you what I did afterwards. So I signed Callaway to a one-year deal worth 6.82, and Ross Free is 33 years old, but a one-year deal, superstar development, 80 overall. I just had to do it. With the 26th pick in the first round, we're getting receiver Ryan Peterman. He's a 68 overall, normal development, 90 speed, 86 acceleration, 74 catching, 83 catching traffic. In the second round, I got a cornerback in Preston, 65 overall, also right end Chamberlain, 68 overall. In the third left end, Rogers, 68 overall, and the rest of the draft wasn't all too great. Heading into the year, we have an 84 overall team, and our offensive line is getting worse by the year. That is a little concerning. We still have our two superstar X-Factor guys and our quarterbacks and our running back. Very young players. Receivers could use an overhaul, in my opinion. And on defense, I'm hoping our guys could just step up big time this year. I mean, McDougal's up the superstar X factor. I'm very surprised that Shepard isn't. But we'll be able to deal with that. We still need corners, which is not good. Right outside linebacker. Ugh, I, I don't know about this year. Oh, we're back to this, are we? The Houston Gunners. We won the division in 9-7. and seven. We will play against the 9-7 and seven Gunners. Jets 8-8, eight eight, Bills 8-8, eight eight, Pats 5-11. Take a look at the stats. Doris, what's happening? 3,500 yards, 26 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Wesley, 1,200 yards, 8 touchdowns, 7 for Rice. Dodge, 884, 7 touchdowns. Thorpe, 714 with 4. Jackson, 696, 3 touchdowns. Poole, 425 with 5. Wesley with 2. Hagan with 4. On defense, James, 114 tackles. Sack totals 13 for Shepard, 10 for Gentry. I love it. Interceptions, 3 for Pugh, McClendon, Thurston, and Spain. Yelia Awards, what do we got here? Pair with the MVP. No Dolphins, Coach of the Year. Did I miss us? Are we just not up here? Nope, we're just not up here. Offensive Player of the Year. We have Doris at number 9. Defensive Player of the Year. We have nothing. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Nothing defensive rookie of the year. We have Bartell at seven. We have Chamberlain at eight. We have Rodgers at 10. We always do have some good defensive rookies, but on offense, I know the offensive linemen don't get showed up there, so that is a little bit unfair. Uh, we don't really have that much for XP that's too groundbreaking right there. But can we beat the nine and seven Houston Gunners? I don't know. I want to say Texans. Nope. 37 to 31. Where is Jake from when I need him? How the tides have turned. Let's see. I, I know Doris is going to have one interception at least, right? None. Josh Fox just played better. 356, four touchdowns. Doris, 254, three touchdowns. A good quarterback rating as well. Wesley with a touchdown. Layman with a touchdown. Sloan, 155. Poole, 102, two touchdowns. One for Browning, one for Clark, two for White. One for Hagen, and that's going to be it. Don't do this to me, game. 
the Ravens beat the Falcons 31 to 21. I don't usually look at this, but I'm going to have to do this one time. Don't tell me that Jake Fromm is a Super Bowl champion. I won't be able to accept it. Whew. Close call. Whoo. Wow. I was almost 100% sure that that was going to be it. I mean, come on. Who's going to be a free agent? Let's see. Let's see. Miller. No, I don't really want to bring him back. Jackson go. Free can go. McAllister can come back. Goodbye, Callaway. Thorpe can come back. Man, we're going to have some turnover real quick. Choice I'll bring back. Rice I'll bring back. We have $27 million in cap space. Let's see. What is there? We don't need that, obviously. Spear, we don't need. Right guard, we do need, but not for that price. Not that age. Porter, no. I mean, Miller, I let him go, but for a one-year deal, I'll definitely bring him back. There'd be no reason not to. Fox, we don't need, even though that'd be interesting. Ooh, there's a left tackle that's pretty young. Doesn't really have the development I'm looking for, but I think I'm going to try to bring him in anyways. Let's bring this guy in for one more year as well. Oop, boop, boop, boop. Let's do it right that. Hey. So I got Miller and McLean. All right. So we can take this left outside linebacker that's projected to go at the end of the first round. But there's just something about offensive linemen or any player with no combine that makes me want to take him. 76 overall, hidden development, 91 strength, 78 run block, 77 pass block. In the second round, I took a middle linebacker, Esparza, 66 overall. In the third, Wilbur receiver, 69 overall. In the fourth, I took a tight end, Porter, 68 overall. And in the fifth, I took another receiver who's a 66 overall. Heading into the year, we're an 81 overall team. We also drafted a quarterback who was hidden development. Didn't really think I should mention it till right now, though. We have a pretty good offensive line. We still need a lot of receivers. It's not looking good there. And on defense, it's still going to be weak at the outside linebacker position, the cornerback position. Hopefully, you can address that in this coming offseason. Let's go to the playoffs. We didn't make the playoffs yet again. How did we do? We went 9-7 and seven and missed the playoffs. How disappointing. The Jets 10-5-1, and one, Pats 10-6, and six, and the Bills went 3-13. Doris, about 4,000 yards, 31 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Awesome year. Rushing, Wesley, 1,200 yards, 13 touchdowns. Awesome. 5 for Rice. Receiving, Dodge, about 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns. Thorpe, 664, 6 touchdowns. Choice, 606 with 4. Wesley, 571, 3 touchdowns. Peterman with 6. I do not want to look at blocking, not even a little bit. On defense, James, 105 tackles. Sack totals, 11 for Shepard, 8.5 for Gentry, 6.5 for Stewart. Interceptions, four for Spain, three for McClendon, two for Stewart, Pugh, and Thurston. Let's take a peek at the Ely Awards. Do we have any Dolphins? Come on down. There we have it, Doris at number nine. Coach of the year, we might sneak our way up here. I guess not. Offensive play of the year, Doris at number two. We also have Wesley at number seven, which is good to see. Defensive player of the year, probably nothing. Nope, offensive rookie of the year. Porter at number five. All right, Cromartie at number eight, which isn't that bad. Defensive Rookie of the Year. We have nothing. You love to see it. Let's take a peek at the XP. Let's just go to upgrade players. No reason it'll go over each, yeah, over each and every one. Wilbur, the receiver, has eight XP points. Porter with seven, which is awesome. Cromarty doesn't matter. Wow, our left guard has six. We'll be up to an 82 overall. We are in great, great shape. The Jaguars beat the Falcons 17 to 14 to win Super Bowl 72. Doris is coming right on back. McDougal's going to come back. James, probably. Miller, probably not. Russell, maybe. Norton, uh, it's really, it's, it's going to have to depend on how much money we have. Roland's going to come right on back. Spain, goodbye. Burrow can come back. Thurston, maybe. Rick's price. I mean, let's just worry about the most important player. Evan Doris. Seven years, we do not have that much money. Let's give him a ton of money just to make sure we don't have to franchise tag him. He's coming on back. McDougal, I also have to bring in. No exceptions. Let's offer him a little bit more money. He has to take that, right? Okay, good. James, I, I would love to bring James back. It's probably like a two-year deal. He's not going to take that. I don't even have the money to offer him that. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go with that. Didn't really think so. I mean, Roland, I really, really want to bring back. We just don't have the money. We can't even make him an offer. That's how pathetic it is. I'm going to get, do we go Roland or do we go 
with James. I feel like Roland's a little bit younger. It makes more sense. Let's franchise tag him and then go to the draft. We have the 20th overall draft pick. We need an outside linebacker. We need a guard. We could always use a tackle. But let's check out the right uh, late first round talent. I don't know about that one. Meredith, I don't know about that one either. What about the right tackle? I, I think just to make sure we get a guy that's a scheme fit, we're going to take Jaleel Haywood. Wow. 71 overall, normal development. 74 tackles, 67 hit power, 82 speed, 80 acceleration. In the second round, we took corner McDougal, 65 overall. In the third, left guard McNeil, 69 overall. And in the fourth, we took receiver Steven, 66 overall. So Wilbur had superstar development. I did not know that. So that's a nice little surprise right there. But we have an 82 overall team, 85 offense, 79 defense. The offensive line of right guard got a little bit weaker, but hopefully the rookie could step up. And on defense, I mean... We still have a lot of work to do with the linebacker position. We should be fine on the defensive line. Corners need a lot of help. Let's go to the playoffs. We made the playoffs and got a first round bye. Really? We went 12 and 4. The Pats 9 and 7. Bills 6 and 10. The Jets 5, 10 and 1. How did Doris do? About 3,700 yards, 37 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Wesley about 1,600 yards, 14 touchdowns, 8 for Rice. Receiving Dodge 1,100 yards, 14 touchdowns. Thorpe, 773, five touchdowns. Wilbur, 536 with eight. Four for choice. Three for Wesley down here. On defense, Pug, 89 tackles. Not that great. Sack totals, 10 and a half for Shepard. Eight for Stewart. Six and a half for Gentry. Interceptions, five for McClendon. Four for Aiken. All right. I think we are going to have our running back way up here in the MVP. There is Doris at number six. Oh, he didn't make it up there. I thought he would. We're at number two for coach of the year. Not bad. Offensive player of the year. We have Doris right there. Wesley at number seven. Defensive player of the year. We have, oh, wow. Shepard actually got up there at seven. Was not expecting that. Hewitt at number four for offensive rookie of the year. And defensive rookie of the year. Hayward at number one pick at number three. And that's going to be it. Now, we have a chance to win our first, uh, first Super Bowl right here, right now. And I think it might be the time. Take a quick peek at the XP. Two for Doris, one for Wesley. Wow, Quintana has four, which is good to see. McNeil with five. All right, I like seeing that. Wilbur with four will be up to an 82 overall. And on defense, how did Hayward do four? All right, uh, that's really not going to hold up the way I wanted to. Let's advance the week. Let's upgrade our team. See if we can win the Super Bowl. And by Super Bowl, I mean the division round of the playoffs. But we're going to get to the Super Bowl. Don't you worry about it. Let's advance the week. 11-5 Chargers. Can we beat them? No, we can't. We got absolutely dominated. 34-13. to You just hate to see it? I thought this was going to be our year finally. I know we need corners. Rivers, 277, three touchdowns. What happened? What interception? No touchdowns? Wesley, 153 with a touchdown. Mosley, 94 yards with a touchdown. Dodge, 85. Wesley, 57 yards. O'Neal, black with a touchdown. So disappointing. The Cardinals dominated the Chargers 38-6. to That means we probably would have had no chance of beating them. Gentry could probably go. McClendon, probably. McDougal, I do want to bring back. Roland, I want to bring back. Really, nobody hit Burns, maybe? Aiken, maybe? I don't really know what we have for money. I should probably start there. Not much, which is a little concerning. I know I've given a lot of guys longer years with more money, which I think just makes a lot of sense for our team. Let's go four years. Let's go five years for Olin. Up the money a little bit. Four million a year. 2.7 signing bonus. And then if I can, I would like to get maybe Aiken. Probably not Burns, but Aiken would fit our team pretty well. Okay, what's going on? Hey, we got him. So we're not going to have much for a free agency, so I'm just going to go to the draft. Oh, look at this corner and pick number 26, Darvion Westerman. He's a 77 overall, only normal development though, ranked 5 too. 94 speed, 80 man, 65 zone, 74 play rec. In the second round, I got right end Spears, 69 overall. In the third, I got strong safety Bush, 68 overall. In the fourth, I got middle linebacker Volk, 67 overall. Heading into the year, we're an 82 overall team, 84 offense, 80 defense. Our offense is looking really good. Our number one and number two receiver, our superstar development. We still have to work on our right guard a little bit, but it's not a huge deal. 
but our defense still could use some work. We need some help in the cornerback position. Still both middle linebackers, right outside linebacker. Hopefully Hayward can step up and definitely a strong safety. Another first round bye. I love it. How did we do 15 and one? I'll take that any day of the week. Pat 7, 8, and 1. Bill 7, and 9. And the Jets 5, 10, and 1. Wow. Almost undefeated. Doris 4,000 yards, 39 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Love it. Rushing Wesley 1,600 yards, 14 touchdowns. Peter, uh, Peterman 917, 12 touchdowns. Thorpe 796 with 8. Dodge 725, 5 touchdowns. Wesley 686, 9 touchdowns. And 3 for Wilbur. This is awesome. As far as our 133 tackles, I love it. What about sack totals? Nine and a half for Shepard, seven for Stewart, four for Roland. Interceptions, five for Aiken. Glad I brought him back. Three for Bush, two for Sparza, and two for Westerman, the rookie. I mean, Doris has to be the MVP, right? No, Wesley is. Woo, wow. I don't think I've ever seen that before for any of my teams. I know I've seen Elliot up here, but Doris at number three. Coach of the year, it has to be us. I know it's going to be nice and slow, but you can just, yep, toss him right up up there. Offensive player of the year, Wesley at number one, Doris at number three. Defensive player of the year, oh man, we almost ran away with the awards. Offensive rookie, probably nothing. Defensive rookie, Bush is up there at number one. Westerman at number four. Spears at number seven. I feel like a nice little run we're about to go on. I'm just saying, what do we have for good old XP before we find out who we're playing in the division around? We have four for Quintana, so he's going to be a 91 overall. Wilbur will be an 85. Dodge will be an 89. I mean, Doris is already a 99 overall. I don't even know how that just... I overlooked that. I don't know. And on defense, Shepard's up the Superstar X Factor, which is perfect. What about Westman? He has three, so he'll be an 80. We're in great shape right now. Let's advance the week. Find out who we're going to lose to or play against. You know, uh, it's probably going to be a loss, but let's see. Playing against the 9-7 Jaguars. Seems like a team will lose to a nice little interstate rivalry. I don't even know if it is a rivalry. I feel like it should be. I feel like they pulled to be in the same division, but maybe I'm wrong. Can we beat them? They're 9-7. We're 15-1. Of course we can. 28-21. I hate this game oh so much. And I feel like I have another like 50 or so seasons left in me. I don't know if this video is going to go right up when I get my millionth view, but boy is it going to be a hike to get there. Let's see, Hollister, 225, two touchdowns. Doris with the interception, that's all that matters. Wesley, 138 with a touchdown. Hollister with a touchdown. Gilchrist, 70 yards. Tandy, 60. Touchdown for Thorpe. Two for Wallace, one for Dodge. The Gunners have won their second Super Bowl, beating the Saints 24-7. to Now, I don't know if we're going to have a ton of money. Black, the kicker, he can go. Rogers, the left end, what do we have? hoo 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 we do not have that much money. Granted, there aren't many guys I want to bring back. I mean, we might as well bring back Rodgers. He's the cheapest one. Let's go six years. $8 million, 3.09. That's good enough. Do we have enough for Chamberlain? Could I just franchise tag him if not? Oh, he took that offer. All right. To the draft. Now, we have the 28th overall pick. Does Dre Landy right here is with a late second round talent. But I see this receiver right here who looks so good. And I'm going to have to take him. He's a 71 overall, hidden development, 21 years old, 92 speed, 90 acceleration, 77 catching, 84 catching traffic. In the second round, I took corner Topkin, 62 overall. In the third, I took free safety, Ivy, 65 overall. And in the fourth, I took another corner, Newton, 60 overall. We are an 84 overall team, 87 offense, 81 defense. It's a lot to live up to after last season going 15 and 1, but I feel like we could do with this team. Even though I'm going to cut some receivers because the guy I just drafted has hidden development. Oh, but he looks pretty good. I don't know. Maybe let Farmer go? How old is he? 26 years old. You can get out of here. Saving 600K. How exciting. Where is he? Why is it even here? Like, generate the best lineup. Get him in there. There he is. I want him a little bit higher up the board. You know what I'm thinking about now? Is it choice pretty old? He's 30 years old. Can I cut him and save a lot of money? No, I can cut him and lose money. Interesting. You know what? We'll just leave him for now. Take a quick look at the defense before we go to the playoffs. Still have a lot of work to do at middle linebacker two at the cornerback position. 
but let's go to the playoffs. How do we go from 15 and one to nine and seven? I mean, we still won our division. That's fine. But we're playing against the 10, five and one Pittsburgh Steelers. The Jets went eight and eight, Pat seven and nine, the Bills six and 10. Take a look at the stats. Doris, 3,800 yards, 33 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Pretty good. Wesley, about 1,500 yards, 13 touchdowns. Doris with four. Receiving Peterman, 835, 10 touchdowns. Dodge, 729 with nine. Porter, 717, one touchdown. Wilbur, 572 with two. Where is our guy Richardson? Not doing much down there, but I guess he's our sixth string guy. Esparza, 112 tackles. Pretty good. Nine sacks by Stewart, nine by Roland. Where's Shepard? Only with six. Interceptions, five for Bush, which is awesome to see. Two for McDougal, two for Aiken. Now, what are we going to have for XP? Uh, do we have any hidden development, guys? We have the, the receiver, who we should know. Is that we haven't seen his yet. But he has seven, so that's probably superstar, right? It almost has to be. What about our defense? I saw our free safety. Superstar development, 10 XP points. I mean, come on. Five for Bush over at strong safety. This is awesome. I, I, I know we're going to lose. Don't get me wrong. But I still like to a nice little run of drafting some players. We have our quarterback at 99 overall. We should be able to walk our way through these playoffs. We're going to be one and done. So I, I don't even get ahead of myself. Yeah, see, it doesn't even matter. 23 to 17. Always losing by a touchdown. Have a 99 overall quarterback that just can't get the job done. This is kind of be like going to be ridiculous when we don't when we do this whole video not win one Super Bowl. Doris 182 touchdowns, Fountain with a touchdown. Wesley 79 yards, two for Fountain. I totally didn't look at the awards now that I think about it. Fisher with a touchdown, Porter Dodge with a touchdown. I imagine I could still do that, right? Because Wesley might have the MVP again. Can I still do it? Stats? Ah, I can. Okay, I don't know how I forgot about that. Hollister with the MVP. Doris at number nine. No Wesley in sight. Coach of the year. We should be up there, but we're not for some reason. Offensive player, Wesley at three. Doris at five, which is good. Defensive player, we have nothing. Offensive rookie, we have nothing. And defensive rookie of the year. Hey, Ivy, or Ivy rather, the free safety is up there. That's good. The Bengals have won their third Super Bowl this video, beating the Redskins 31 to 26. Now we're kind of getting in the range where I don't know if we have the money for all these guys. Okay, we do have a good amount of money here. Let's go two years, 7.8 for Shepard. He wants to go to free agency. That's not going to last. I can promise you that. Let's go six years for Quintana. He's definitely coming back as a 93 overall. So take your six years, your 10 million. Just stay with the team. Thank you. Wilbur, who came out of nowhere, five years, 11 million, 7.21. He's right back on the team. Porter with star development. Let's up this a little bit more. Three million a year for a signing bonus is fine. McClendon can go. Peterman can go. Thorpe can go. Esparza can definitely stay. Let's make him that offer. See if he takes it, which he will. Stewart, goodbye. Cromartie, goodbye. We don't really need that. We have our quarterback. Bernard, a tight end. Don't really need to do that. So let's franchise tag good old Shepard for $20 million a year to the draft. I think I found our next defensive tackle, Andrew Fla uh, Franklin. 77 overall, hidden development, 92 strength, 81 block shed, 79 power moves, 66 finesse. In the second round, I took a running back in Park, 69 overall. In the third round, right tackle given, 69 overall. In the fifth, left guard, Gabriel, 69 overall. In the seventh round, strong safety, Boston, 62 overall. Heading into the year, we're an 85 overall team, 89 offense, 81 defense. We need a little bit of help at the right tackle position. We're fine at the rest of the line. Doris is still a 99. Wesley's a 96. We have Dodge, 89. Wilbur, 87. A few more star development guys at our wide receiver position. Still need help at the linebacker position. Not really addressing that all too often. I almost want to change our defensive scheme. Can we go 4-3 instead of 3-4? Well, that'd be fine. 37, that's not going to work out. I guess we can't. All right, I, I guess base 3-4 makes the most sense for this team. So let's go to the playoffs. We made the playoffs at 10-6. and six. We'll be playing against the 11-5 Tennessee Titans. Bills 8-8, eight eight, Jets 6-10, the Pats 5-11. Take a look at the stats. Door is 4,200 yards, 35 touchdowns, only two interceptions. Wow. Wesley about 1,400 yards, 12 touchdowns. Doris with three. 
Receiving Dodge, 1,100 yards, 8 touchdowns. Wilbur, 791 with 4. Richardson, 760, 12 touchdowns, which is awesome. Porter, 678 with 2. Wesley, 606 with 4. On defense, as far as 110 tackles, Ivy, 101 is a backup. Sack total is 11 for Shepard, 5 for Ivy, 4.5 for Spears and Roland. Interceptions, 3 for Westerman, 2 for Esparza. I think Doris has to be the MVP, right? No, number 3, I don't get... It just doesn't make sense to me. Coach of the year, we should be up there at number 8. Offensive player of the year, Doris winning it, which is good. Wesley at number 6. Defensive player of the year, we have nothing. Offensive rookie of the year, Parks at 5. Defensive rookie of the year, where is our defensive tackle? Franklin's up there, Logan's up there. Very intrigued to see what their developments are. I imagine maybe he's superstar. Like, I always say that, but one of these times that has to be right, right? Wilbur has two. Dodge is up to a 91. Givens has five to a 74 overall. Is not bad. Let's take a look. He's still hidden development. Five XP points, though. Ivy, I feel like we're going to have to move him around. Or maybe, how old is McDougal? I feel like he's like 20, yeah, 29. So he is getting up there in age. We do have his replacement already, which is good. So let's give our team an upgrade. See what we're looking at before we play against the Tennessee Titans, who thankfully don't have Marcus Mariota any longer, so we won't be dealing with that. Let's advance the week, see what we're going to get. Hey, we beat them. Can we beat the 11-5 Cincinnati Bengals? No, of course not. We lost 19-14. to I just don't get it. Just, just doesn't make sense to me. That's all. I feel like we have a great team, a quarterback's playing great, and then we lose 19-14 to to Walder. Doris even played pretty well. 126, two touchdowns. Diaz, two touchdowns, one interception. Wesley, 71 yards. Nice at 100 yards. Touchdown for Gonzalez. Wilbur, touchdown for Porter. Let's go find out who's going to win that Super Bowl. The Bengals are back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions, beating the Cowboys 20-17. to Interesting. Now, Shepard, I think I'm just going to let him walk as much as that hurts. Wesley, 32 years old. I wouldn't mind giving him two years, 6.3. Free agency will be better for you, probably. McNeil, the left guard, I have to bring back. Hayward, I have to bring back. Let's go four years up to 5 million. 1.64, 26.4 offer. Stevens is there as well. There's a lot of good players right here. Almost like we have to let Wesley walk, but we could probably franchise tag him at the same time. Chamberlain, we don't need. McDougal, as a 74 overall. I don't know if we're going to get better than that in the draft. Let's go four years, 1.3. That's fine. Choice we don't need any longer. I guess Stevens we should bring back as a 77 overall. Let's go four years, 6, 8, 3.47. He's going to come on back. So I'm going to franchise tag Wesley. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's go to the draft. With the 28th pick in the first round, we're taking cornerback Raheem Thurman. He's a 70 overall, normal development, 21 years old, not bad. 90 speed, 74 man, 63 zone, 69 play rec. In the second round, I took right outside linebacker Bartlett, 65 overall. In the third, I took right tackle Connor, 71 overall. So heading into the year, we're an 85 overall team, 89 offense, 81 defense. And I was told that you can only do 30 seasons in sim. So this should be very interesting. I believe we're in year probably 20 something maybe like 26 i think is the range we're in right now but the offensive lines looking good we got some receivers we still got doris we still got wesley and on defense still looking good could work on the linebacker position the end positions but i think we'll be fine let's go to the playoffs. we made the playoffs at 10 and 6 we'll play against the 9 6 and 1 tennessee titans the bills win 8 and 8 the jets 6 and 10 the patriots 5 and 11 Look at the stats. Doris, 3,800 yards, 39 touchdowns to three interceptions. Awesome. Wesley, about 1,400 yards, nine touchdowns, nine for Parks, the backup as well. Receiving Stevens, 835, seven touchdowns. Porter, 778 with three. Wilbur, 751, eight touchdowns. Richardson, 657 with four. Four for Wesley as well. On defense, Vesparza, 115 tackles, sack totals. Five for Spears, four and a half for Franklin, three for Esparza. Interceptions, four for McDougal, three for Esparza, two for Westerman, Ivy, and McDougal. I don't know if we're going to have anybody up here, to be honest. MVP, Joey Beal. Hey, Doris, number six. That's good to see. No Wesley, coach of the year. There we are, number six. AFC Offensive Play of the Year. Doris losing out. 
Wesley should be up here. He is at number 10. Defensive play of the year. Sparza at three. Nobody else. Offensive rookie. We have Martinez at seven. We also have Levy at eight. Defensive rookie of the year. We have Bartlett at number nine. All right, not bad, not bad. Now, I don't think we had any hidden development, guys. This is probably the sixth day since I last recorded part of this, so I don't remember exactly. Ivy might have actually. You know what? Let's, let's go take a peek just in case. I might be completely wrong. I don't remember, but I could be completely wrong. Wilbur has one. Richardson with two. A few on the offensive line, but nothing too crazy. On defense. Ivy with that superstar X factor. I think he had that when I ended the last video, though, if I remember correctly. Franklin has two. So we still have to work on the outside linebackers, the ends, but we're not in terrible, terrible shape. Let's upgrade that team. See if we can finally win that Super Bowl. Looks pretty empty back there, you know? I don't see any Super Bowls in sight. I know it's black screen right now. Can't even see it at this angle. Don't worry about it. Did we win? Yes, we did. Can we get to the AFC Championship? Texas at 13 2 1. We beat them, though. Huh. Oh, Doris, another XP point. Perfect. You have so much room to grow. Let's go to that Super Bowl, shall we? Please, just. One time. No, we can never just get there. I'm going to have to open up my list so we can write down the winner of this one. But come on. Where is it? Right there. Who won it? The Rams beat the Chargers 20 to 14. Do I have a Rams up here? Do not. So that is the Rams first Super Bowl championship. We do have to go take a peek, though. Let's go team schedule. Let's go with the postseason. Of course, we lost by a touchdown. Wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, Doris with a touchdown. Their quarterback didn't have a touchdown. Two by Bowers. 64 for Stevens. Touchdown for Wesley, of course. Nothing else too exciting right there. So I actually am. I can add up all the Super Bowls we've done so far. And I'll tell you what year we are. But who do I want to bring back? Wesley, I want to bring back. McAllister, I want to bring back. Bush, I want to bring back. Westerman, I want to bring back. McDougal, maybe. Spears, definitely. Volk, I want to bring back. I don't know if we have this kind of money. Now that I think about it. Oh, no, we do. All right, that'll be easy enough. So we are at year 24. That's what we just finished. And a bunch of guys turned us down. I'm not going to bring back McDougal. He wanted a huge contract. I'm going to have to bring back Wesley. $10 million a year, not a big deal. So let's go to free agency with a ton of money. Like so, so much money. And we should be able to bring in a few guys. I do want to take a peek at our team real quick just so I can get a little bit more refreshed on what we are missing. I know ends were missing. We're probably just one end we're missing. Missing a left tackle. You could say right tackle, but not right. Not really. We're fine a receiver. We need a right outside linebacker. We need a, I guess, really nothing. Some corners? Do I just save the money so that like when people are going to be free agents, I can bring them back? There's another running back there. We don't need that. This left tackle, though, he looks really good. Good enough that he's going to be on my team. I'm going to give him a humongo contract just to make it nice and easy. Don't have to worry about a thing. Is there any other? There's a center. Not bad, actually. Did my game just crash? No, it didn't. Um, He's not going to take this. I can't even make him that offer. That's fine, then. Let's advance. See if we can get our one guy. I mean, if he doesn't take that, there's some screwy things going on right now. Because I just paid him so much money. Thank you. With the 29th pick in the first round, we're taking right guard Wyatt Tanley. 75 overall, normal development. 87 strength, 77 run block, 74 pass block. In the second round, I took left end Dixon, who's a 69 overall. In the third round, defensive tackle Mahaffey, 68 overall. In the fourth, running back Charles, 61 overall. So we're an 85 overall team, 87 offense, 83 defense. We are a little bit weak at center. I think I'm going to put Gabriel over at center just to make it a little bit better. I'll do that off screen. Charles did have hidden development, by the way. I wasn't really too concerned about that. Not defense. Still missing out on the right outside linebacker, but everything else is awesome. I mean, Chamberlain's our third string free safety, and he has star development. I almost want to see how old is McDougal. He's 31. I'm going to put him on the trade block, see if we can get anything for him. For a 92 overall? I feel like we should be able to get like a first overall, not first overall pick, first round pick easily. I don't care. Oh, really? Nobody wants him? That can't be true. Can it? Wow. 
We made the playoffs at 10 and 6. We'll play against the New York Jets, who are 11 and 5. Interesting. Pat 7, 8, and 1. The Bills 4, 11 and 1. Don't know if I've seen that recently. Maybe I'm just completely wrong. Doris, 4,200 yards, 29 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Not bad. Wesley, 1,200 yards, 10 touchdowns, 5 for Parks, 2 for Doris. Receiving Porter, almost 1,100 yards, 12 touchdowns. Wilbur, almost 1,100 yards, 4 touchdowns. Richardson, 703 with 2. Stevens, 677 with 6. On defense, Mesparza, 103 tackles. McDougal, 101. Not bad. Inners are deep for sacks, rather. What am I talking about? 10 sacks for Franklin, 4 and a half for Spears, 4 for Roland. Interceptions, 3 for Esparza and Thurman, 2 for Ivy and Bush, 1 for Spears and Westerman. What are we going to have here? We have Doris, number 7, Coach of the Year. We're not up there. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Doris at 4, no Wesley. Defensive Player of the Year, we have Esparza at 6, which is good to see. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Nothing. Defensive Rookie of the Year. We have Mahaffey. That's such a weird name. I want to say McCaffrey at number six. Now, let's take a peek at what our guys got for XP before we go on to lose to the Jets. Because you know that's going to happen. Charles got two. That's it. Still fine in the offensive line. Still fine at receiver, quarterback, running back. We are going to have to franchise Wesley again, probably. But nothing really on defense. I, I really want to get rid of McDougal. He's probably going to be a free agent. At the same time, I don't want to let him walk. As a 92 overall, it's kind of hard to do. Let's give that a quick upgrade. Ooh, our kicker got 6 XP. Let's advance the week. Are we going to beat the 11-5 New York Jets? Probably not. No, we're not. 28-14. to 14. Of course, of course, of course. I mean, I, I, I want to say who's on their team. Obviously, I'm going to have no idea. I just recorded two fantasy draft rebuilds, so I'm kind of in that mode. Doris, 238, one touchdown, one interception. Paulson with a touchdown. Hearn, 61 yards. Wesley with a touchdown. Stevens with a touchdown. Touchdown for neighbors. This is the Bengals' fifth championship in this video. That's crazy. They beat the Saints 30-22. to Who's going to be a free agent? I know McDougal's going to be here. That McDougal's here. We have Wesley there as well. Washington, the kicker. I'll bring him back. Ivy, I want to bring back. Let's worry about the, uh, the younger guys because we do not have that much money now that I see it. Ivy, though. I mean, how, do, how would I pass up an Ivy for McDougal? I just couldn't. Richardson at 25 years old. Looks pretty good. We almost might have to cut some people. What, what are you talking about? So I just don't have enough money to bring him in, basically, period. Oh, no, he's going to come back. Roland could go. That's fine. As far as his 30, don't really want to lose him. But if I'm going to have to, that's fine. Is there any way I could cut some money? Because I'd really like to bring Wesley back if I could. Doris, I could cut. I'm not going to do that. McDougal's going to be gone. Rogers, I don't want to do that. So, no. We're pretty locked in, but we do have a solid team. So, can't be too upset about that. And we're going to have, is, is it no money for free agency? I believe it's absolutely no money. Yeah, 360. We can't do anything with that. To the draft. With the 22nd pick in the first round, we're taking left outside linebacker Mike Bowen. He's a 74 overall, hidden development, 21 years old. 74 tackles, 78 hit power, 85 speed, 85 acceleration. In the second round, I took corner Topkin, 65 overall. In the third, right end, Payne, 61 overall. And in the fourth round, receiver Taylor, 67 overall. Heading into the year, we're an 86 overall team, 91 offense, 81 defense. Charles did have star development, by the way. Team looks basically the same, except we don't have Wesley. Door is still going strong as a 99 overall. And on defense, I mean, we got better, obviously. I, mean, I guess we lost McDougal, so technically we didn't get better. There's a lot of good players at the positions. Like Franklin has superstar development, which is awesome. So let's go to the playoffs. We missed the playoffs. Is it just because we lost Wesley? Does that matter this much in this game? We went 2-13-1? What are you talking about? Door is 4,200 yards, 24 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Park 763 with 4. Doris with 1. Charles with 4. I can't believe this. Wilbur 1,100 yards, 6 touchdowns. Stevens 930 with 10. Porter 668, 2 touchdowns. Richardson with 3. I, I can't believe, like, that doesn't make sense if it's just because of a running back. Volk, 113 tackles. Sack totals, 8.5 for Spears, 5.5 for Franklin, 4 for Bowen and Rodgers. 
Interceptions. Three for Boston, two for Westerman, one for McDougal, Ivy, Chamberlain, and Bush. I'm really at a loss for words. And does that say John Madden? Oh, he's probably always there, right? Probably, because I'm kind of climbing up the board. That makes sense, and I was so confused. But who are the gunners, then? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm kind of blown away by this. We have Doris at seven, defensive player of the year. We have nothing, offensive rookie. Nothing, defensive rookie. We have Bowen at four, which is fine. Guess we're going to get through this season pretty quick. Been having like the playoffs and everything like that, but I guess not anymore. XP, nothing really on offense. What about on defense? Where is the guy we drafted? I do not see him anywhere. There he is, Bowen. Five, so he's up to a 79 overall. Good, good, good. The Bears beat the Bengals, so the Bengals almost had another Super Bowl championship. Wow. Now, who's going to be a free agent? What do we have for money? Doris is there, who we have to bring back. We have no money. This is a problem. I want both of these guys back. I'd like Givens back as well. I am going to uh, open up some money. We're going to cut Rodgers and save $9.38 million. Didn't really want to get rid of him, but that'll be fine. Let's get rid of our tight end Porter. What are we saving? Like $3 million, I think it said. A little bit more than $3 million. $3.9 million still. That's fine. Haywood, we can get rid of him. Save about $3 million as well. I have to bring back Doris. I have to bring back Franklin. There's literally no exceptions. And he's going to want a ton of money, so... I forgot that he was a free agent. It's basically as simple as that. I'm going to give him four years. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go up here. He's going to stay with the team that's good. If I have to lowball Franklin and then franchise tag him, I'll definitely do that. I'm going to have to lowball him. Great. That's highballing him, but all right. You want to play for a new team? That makes sense, but too bad. We do have the first overall draft pick, so I have to look at the trade offers. Which What year are we in? We're in 45? I, I have to get two first round picks out of this. I just have to. I'm not trading back three to get second round picks. Doesn't really make sense to me. Should have seen who they were going to take though. I think that would have been interesting, but I, I messed up there. I'll admit it. So who's going to be here? There's a running back. There's two running backs. I'm going to go with the exclusive or exclusive elusive back. Who's going to be very exclusive. 71 overall hidden development, 80 break tackle, 88 speed, 91 acceleration, 90 agility. So in the second round, I took left end Freeman, 63 overall. In the third, I took a quarterback, Edwards, 67 overall. In the fourth round, free safety, Smith, 62 overall. In the fifth round, right outside linebacker, Scott, 64 overall. I mean, sixth round, Christian, middle linebacker, is a 66 overall. Same for the right tackle, Judge. But I also want to look at what did the Seahawks trade up to get? A free safety, 74 overall. I mean, he has to have hidden development at that point. That's fine. So we have an 84 overall team, 87 offense, 81 defense, and I'm hoping with Peck that can change our team around as silly as that sounds. And on defense, we still need help at the outside linebacker position, middle linebacker position, left end. Eh, hopefully that doesn't hold us down. Another year, another missed playoffs. How did we do? 6-9-1. I don't know what really changed. I have to see how the Seahawks did, by the way. Where, oh, where are the Seahawks? There they are, of course. Take a peek at our stats. Now, the Sim is going really slow at this point. It took me probably five minutes to get through that season. Usually, it's like a minute at most. Maybe like 45 seconds. Doris, about 4,000 yards, 26 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Peck, 824, 4 touchdowns. Charles with 4. Peck, I was expecting way more out of you. Wilbur, 958, 9 touchdowns. Stevens, 817 with 11. Castle, 702 with a touchdown. Richardson with 2. Peck with 3. On defense, Volk, 118 tackles. Sack totals five for Franklin, four and a half for Spears. Franklin's not happy he's back here in the franchise tag. Two for Westerman, a few ones to go around. Yearly awards, what are we going to have? Beal with the MVP. We have Doris at number 10. We won't be here. Offensive player of the year. Doris at six, nothing else. Actually, I have to, I have to, nope, oh, nope, nope. That's all I want. I want offensive player of the year. Do we see Wesley anywhere? No, okay, he's not there. Maybe he's gone. Maybe we don't know what he happened to him. Whatever. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Donald Peck, our running back at number one. I'd like to see that. Edwards at number seven. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Nothing. 
Okay, I guess that's how it's gonna be. And we're still going, like we're going so far down. I feel like these last three, like, wow, he has Superstar X Factor. All right, that's good start. Great, 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 okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. Judge is that Superstar development, which is awesome. So I'm not really sure what's going on right now. Is that our 79%, 77% pretty good? I don't know. We have a lot of teams now winning their first Super Bowl. The Bills beat the Bears 35 to 24. Now, what do we have for money so we can bring back Franklin? Maybe Wilbur, McNeil, probably not, definitely not. Thurman, I have to bring back. Okay, we have a good amount of money. I don't even know if we have six years left in this, but I'm still going to offer him a six-year deal. I'm going to bring all these guys back, then we'll go to free agency. Wilbur turned us down, but we don't have much money, so I'm just going to franchise tag, and we don't have to go to free agency. So we have the eighth overall pick and 26th overall pick. And I'm trying to think, what do we really need at this point? Maybe a corner? Late first round pick, we can wait on that one. Definitely don't need a free safety or a strong safety. There's a better left tackle, more upwards. Late first round pick, more upwards. At the top of the draft board. Uh, let's go with them, I suppose. Early first round, let's take them. 76 overall, normal development. 94 strength, 78 run block, 83 pass block. And this simming is just chugging along now. You can even tell somewhat in this. You didn't see it right there. But the first one, whoo, probably took a good 15 seconds. And that's typically not what it does. Oh, the middle linebacker's gone. That's a shame. Let's get this corner, Nelson Travis. 73 overall, hidden or, or normal development, rather. 92 speed, 70 man, 71 zone, 74 player act. In the second round, I took right end Stokes, 70 overall. In the other second round pick, receiver Buchanan, 66 overall. In the third, free safety, Crick, 68 overall. I mean, this draft is just loaded, and I loved it. Heading into the year, we have an 83 overall team, 85 offense, 81 defense. We're looking really good. Three superstar development guys in the offensive line. Our left guard is a 98 overall. Our receivers are looking good. We got, I mean, Doris did drop one. Don't get me wrong. Not a huge deal, though. Not defense. I like the way our team's looking. Still have a lot of work to do, but let's go to the playoffs. Another year, another missed playoffs, and I have no idea why. We went 8-8, eight eight, the Bills 10-6, Jets 7-9, the Pats were 5-11. Doris, 3,800 yards, 30 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Peck, 1,100 yards, 9 touchdowns. Doris with 3, Charles with 6. Wilbur, 1,100 yards, 8 touchdowns. Taylor, 776 with 9. Richardson, 597, 4 touchdowns, 1 for Peck, 3 for Castle. On defense, Volk, 131 tackles, pretty good. Sack totals, 8.5 for Franklin, 7 for Spears, 6.5, or 6 rather for Bowen. Uh, Bowen. 5.5 for Mahaffey. Interceptions, 3 for Westerman, 2 for Bush and Travis, 1 for Thurman, 1 for Tompkins. Don't think we'd have anybody up here. Maybe defensively. I, I don't know. Nothing. Coach of the year, we wouldn't be up there. Hey, Doris at 6. Defensive player of the year, I was wrong. Offensive rookie of the year. We have Knowles at number five, Estrada at number six, Buchanan at number nine. Defensive rookie of the year, Crick at one, Travis at two, Stokes at five. Whew. And I believe we drafted an offensive lineman with our first pick, so, you know, pretty good, if you ask me. Even though he has normal development, which is an absolute joke. Where is he? Where is he? I forget who it was. Was it Thomas? Two XP points? That's not bad, though. Judge only with three is a 77 overall. Not loving that, to be honest. Take a peek at the defense. I mean, Crick has five, I guess. That's good. I, I don't know. I don't think that's awesome. Travis has four. Okay, I'll take that. Tompkins with two. Eh, I am not impressed. That's the best way to put it. The Titans beat the Packers 26 to 16, and that is their first Super Bowl championship in this video. Quintana's coming back. Wilbur, maybe not. Bush, probably not. Tanley will bring back. Mahaffey, goodbye. The big question is, how much money do we have? $20 million. I could definitely work with that. You know, I'm not a picky guy like that. I didn't realize Quintana was 31 years old, but he's coming back for three years. Why would I just say Bush isn't coming back? Do you even listen, game? Even though that's more me? Booty, you know, just ignore that. Let's go six years. I don't even think we have six years left in this rebuild at this point. That's fine. Wilbur, do you want three years, six million dollars, buddy? No. All right, you can just, goodbye. Goodbye. Get out of my life. I, I'm so sick of you. Get out of here. 
Charles, I'll bring you back. It's going to be cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Let's go five years. He's going to take that offer for sure. Thank you. Trying to see, is there anything else that I'm like dying to bring back? Like, do I want Bush for like a one-year deal? I don't know. Let's go to the draft. So we have the 16th overall pick. We could go with the right end. I feel like it's a little bit too early for that. There's more offensive linemen, of course. But this free safety, he looks really good. Really, really good. And we just lost Bush, so welcome to the team. 75 overall, hidden development. 87 speed, 67 zone, 68 tackles, 77 pursuit. In the second round, I took a tight end in Dalman. It was a 75 overall with hidden development. 83 speed, 76 catching, 60 run block, 74 awareness. Great pick. The rest of the draft, though, not so much. Apparently, my fullback has hidden development. Never seen that before, but we have an 82 overall team, 85 offense, 79 defense. I'm loving the way the offense is looking. The defense, though, a little weak. Still a lot of work to do, but I think we'll be able to pull through that. I think we'll make the playoffs. Disappointed yet again. We didn't make the playoffs. We went eight and eight again. Jets and the Pats, nine and seven. The Bills, six and 10. Doris, 3,900 yards, 29 touchdowns, five interceptions. Peck over 1,000 yards, six touchdowns. Charles with two. Richardson, 824, four touchdowns. Buchanan, 809 with eight. Dahlman, the rookie, 778, three touchdowns. Taylor, 690 with six. On defense, Volk, 132 tackles, great. Sack totals, 8.5 for Bowen, 7.5 for Spears, 6.5 for Franklin. Interceptions, 2 for Barrington, 1 for Volk, Travis, Westerman, and Tompkins. How close are we to getting past John Madden? I don't know if I have all those achievements yet. I think I do. I do not see a Dolphin up here. There wouldn't be a Dolphin there. There should be a Dolphin there. He is a number 7. Defensive player of the year. Volk, maybe? Nope. Offensive rookie. Where is our tight end? At number 6? Okay, defensive rookie Donley at three. This is going to be the roughest last few years, quite possibly of all time, ever in Madden. What do we have for XP? I mean, Doris has one. That's all right, I guess. Star development for Dolman. Wow, our fullback has superstar development. What is going on? Sometimes I just don't understand. Uh, where is Barrington as star? No, that's not. I'm looking for Farrell right here. Five XP. He was the starting free safety at the beginning. Or strong safety, rather. What happened? The Falcons beat the Broncos 35 to 10. And by my calculations, that's their first Super Bowl championship it is. Now, our left tackle, I'm definitely going to bring back. Bowen, I'm bringing back. Spears, maybe. Westerman could go. Volk. Oh, I didn't even realize Volk was that old. I guess that makes sense, but... All right, we have plenty of money, so I could offer this guy a little bit more. I think we might only have two years left, to be honest. You want to play for a new team. All right, have at it. Go to a different team. Actually, that's not what's going to happen. I'm going to bring you back. But you can pretend for a few moments that you're going somewhere else because you're not going anywhere. Don't get a mistake. I think we're good that one right there. Topkins is pretty young, so I should bring him back. I'll give him five years, 1.8. That's good. Barnett, star development. I can't really pass up on that. Well, let's see if that works. That's fine. All right, let's franchise tag Grant for $22 million. What do we have for money now? Probably nothing. Yep, to the draft. I almost want to take another quarterback. I'm not going to. These quarterbacks look amazing, by the way, but doesn't really make sense for our team. Do I get a right tackle? I don't really need that. I don't need a strong safety. Let's get Jalen Briggs. He's a 70 overall hidden development out of BC. 73 tackle and hit power, 84 speed, 83 acceleration. In the second round, I took middle linebacker Bryant, 63 overall. In the third, defensive tackle McNeil, 65 overall. Fourth, there's a left end Hudson, 61 overall. In the fifth round, corner McKinney, 65 overall. Heading into the year, we're an 82 overall team, 88 offense, 77 defense. I mean, the only thing that's really changing at receivers, we don't have Wilbur. I know he lost him two years ago, but that kind of does hurt. And on defense, we need a lot of help in the middle linebacker position, the end positions. But I'm hoping that doesn't hold us down too much. That's a nice little surprise right there. We made the playoffs at 10-6. and six. The Pats went 9-7. and seven. The Jets and Bills 8-7-1, so a tough division. 
Doris, 4,200 yards, 38 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Where have you been? Rushing Peck, 11, or about 1,200 yards, 11 touchdowns, 3 for Doris. Receiving Richardson, 955 touchdowns. Buchanan, 872 with 11. Dahlman, 676 touchdowns. Peck, 5 touchdowns, 600 yards. On defense, Farrell, 115 tackles, perfect. Sack totals, 8.5 for McNeil, 8.5 for Bowen, 8 for Stokes, 7.5 for Franklin. Interceptions, 4 for Farrell, Travis, and Thurman. Pretty good to have 12 interceptions between three guys. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. MVP, Doris. I love it. Nobody else. Coach of the year. We are at number six. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Doris is up there. Peck at number seven. Defensive Player of the Year. Farrell at three. Making a nice little, like a nice little late surge right here. I like it. Defensive Rookie of the Year. McNeil at two. Stiff at five. Briggs at six. And that's going to be it. Briggs is the guy we took in the first round. So that's a little disappointing to see. Will this year be our year that we win the Super Bowl, though? That's the big question. Uh, we have two for Judge is not bad. So we have all our guys 80 or above, which is fine. Doris is down to a 95. Once again, I'll be able to deal with that till he retires. Uh, where are we? Briggs, superstar development. Whoo, seven. I love that. Agnew's right there, star development. All right, all right, all right. Can definitely work with all this information. Let's give it another upgrade. I I really do think, but based on all the research I've done, I haven't done, like actually tested this. We only have one year left after this, which we kind of said. I thought we could do like 100 years, but I, I guess that's wrong. Because I thought people used to do like 10 years at a time, but maybe you could only do a certain amount of simulations. I don't know. We lost to the Ravens 21 to 18. You just hate to see it. How can we lose by three points? Where are we? Right there. Northman threw out uh, who even cares Doris 249 two touchdowns Peck 63 yards Richardson 92 with a touchdown two for Bohr and one for Dahlman the tight end oh and there it is you have to retire after 30 years the Buccaneers did beat the Patriots though let's write that down I believe they've won before they have so let's give it a final tally of who has won Super Bowls the Cowboys with three Texans with one, Patriots with one, the Seahawks with one, Bengals with five, that's going to be the leader, Giants four, Bucks three, Saints one, Gunners two, 49ers with one, Ravens, Jags, Cardinals, Rams, Bears, Bills, Titans, and Falcons, all with one Super Bowl championship. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my 1 million, or 1 million views special, whatever you want to call it. Thank you guys for all the support on my channel. You have no idea how much it means to me. And, you know, let's get some more views, shall we? Like I said, thank you guys so much. If you're interested in joining my Discord, that'll be down in the comments below. I have a Twitter at Headstrong Lane. I changed it was Real Steve Lane, but that kind of sounds a little bit uh, pretentious, I guess is the best way to put it. But hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, tell your friends all about my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Like I said, thank you guys so much. You really don't understand how much it means to me. Bye.